convention, a federal constitutional convention. Uh, and this is a process by which amendments to the Constitution are proposed and uh, debated by the, the delegates that the states send to that uh, convention. And yesterday, the Senate committee was entertaining a bill to limit the scope of what delegates can do at that convention. Because one of the so there's actually sort of plans for a constitutional convention? Well, there's there's a number of people. There's a growing number of people out there who want to have a convention, and there's an there's an equal. Or when great, was the last one? Uh, uh, over two hundred years ago, when the Constitution was created. Okay. So this doesn't happen too frequently, but uh, you know, it's it's there's a growing concern in this country that sort of without any amendments to the Constitution, that Congress seems to be obtaining quite a bit of power anyway, right? Yeah, I think this is. Um, I mean, when for instance you see things like uh, the the TARP bailout thing, the bailout and the TARP thing that that, that went on during the Bush and uh, late Bush early Obama administrations, essentially the idea was to let's take a bunch of money. For from middle class working Americans and give it to rich bankers, otherwise the world's economy will collapse. Was the the concept? And at once, I think it was a senator was uh, was quoted as saying, "Half the people called in said no, and the other half said hell no." Um, right. And so you had a situation where basically the people of the United States were united in saying this is a bad idea, but. The government went ahead and did it anyway. As they have this strange habit of doing. I mean, you take a look at the, the war on drugs, and people might have varying ideas about different uh, different uh, policies on that, but it is almost universally opposed as it stands, right? I mean, uh, just about I, – I can't believe there are still people in this country who want marijuana to be illegal, right? There's Some do. There, um, are, there are some who do. Florida, but, you know, it had to be a 66-33 vote in Florida to legalize medical marijuana in the Constitution. Constitution, and they lost just last year. And but we see in other states that it's being legalized. If you take, a, if you look at public opinion polls, people generally don't uh, agree with the federal war on marijuana. I, yep. I don't think. And so you would think that if this is a democratic government, that uh, and I, I understand people will call in and correct me and tell me it's a republic, but I'm just saying I it's know democratically what the hell the elected. Is. No, seriously, people will do this all the time. But it's like this trick about how to be smarter than somebody. What is the difference? difference between a democracy and a republic because i would say operably there isn't one when you look at them etymologically one of them means of the people one of them means by the people so you're not talking about that difference you certainly can't refer to the roman republic and say that somehow it protected rights um, simply because they elected legislators or something like that uh, yeah I, I think at this point we're sort of the democratic people's republic of north america <laughs> you know, this slight reference reference to North Korea in there. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the in, in any case, you would think that if it's a popularly elected government, right, that these people are democratically elected, that they would sort of do things that were popular. And it doesn't seem to be working out that way. It's, uh, you know, uh, Congress's uh, approval ratings we were just talking the other day. I mean, uh, it, it's the entire federal system has been, uh, is, is at at or near record lows of confidence. People don't have any faith in, in the government, and I'm tempted to say that that's a good thing, but of course they uh, have varying ideas on how to solve that, and some of them are worse than others. Uh, but in any case, we we have a situation where there's a there's a government completely run amok that's completely unaccountable, amok, amok, amok. and there are there are not a whole lot of things that we can do to sort of bring it back into compliance. Yeah, and, you would think that. Look, I'm just trying to think of some of the things that the government has gone sort of way overboard on that people would probably do something about. You've mentioned uh, the war on drugs, specifically the war on marijuana. I wonder about that one, but I think about the Patriot Act. Pretty much people roundly hate that one. Um, the idea that uh, soldiers can be used inside the United States, maybe you know, the, the getting getting rid of posse comitatus, people may not like that. Um, the idea that wars are started, basically the, the 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 president can go ahead and authorize use of force up to 90 days or something 60 like days, that. 60 days, yeah. 60 days, something like that. And, you know, we don't need to let Congress know anything about that. And after that, Congress can go ahead and just not declare war. I think, c consider everybody listening to my voice, the United States has not been at war since 1942. They've sent troops everywhere in the world and they're constantly 
battling, but they haven't been at war since 1942. They, they haven't declared war, but, yeah. you know, usually when you start sending, you know, uh, uh, bombs and soldiers into countries, you know, there's a word for that, and it's yes. war. Right. Uh, and, yeah, I've and I've remarked before, you know, I, I, there's just so many new words for war now that it doesn't even, it, it doesn't even make action. sense. It's a, you know, kinetic military action was what they said in Libya, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's a kinetic military. Kinetic means movement, you know. You see, you've see, you seen a whole lot of military actions that were not... Uh, uh, kinetic. It's it's crazy what they do. I mean, executive warfare, the point where, uh, you know, and this is a thing that was passed by Congress, the War Powers Act, that the executive can uh, uh, launch uh, a military conflict with a foreign country. And then, you know, it, within 60 days, Congress can either authorize it or not, as if the, the president's going to go and start a war, and then Congress is just going to be like, no, my bad, and and you know, and that's just going to stop. That's yeah. not how warfare works, you lunatics. And this is going on all the time. Prism, uh, uh, the 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 NSA spying on Americans, and all of the crazy, crazy things that we keep right. on seeing day I think after Prism, day. Prism's a really great example. How many Americans want the NSA spying on them? Not a whole I, lot. Not, not as a large percentage. I wouldn't think that's the case. So this idea of a constitutional convention and what we've talked about it here on Free Talk Live and the first thing I always think of is, are you kidding me? You don't want a constitutional convention because people would demand a right to health care, a right to an education, right to everything out there. They already basically have a right to those things. But what, you know, from the, a governmental standpoint, not a philosophical standpoint, but the constitutional convention would be limited by the fact that the states would get to vote on it? Well, the, the in any case where you ratify an amendment to the Constitution, the state legislatures, three fourths of them, have to approve of the of the uh, of the amendment. So, yeah. if you have whether whether it's done through a convention or whether it's done by Congress proposing amendments, those are the two ways that uh, amendments to the Constitution can be proposed. Uh, the the state legislatures have to ratify them, and it requires three fourths of the state legislatures. So, what you just mentioned about people saying, "Okay, we're going to have a constitutional right to food, housing, and medicine, and all of these different things," uh, I, I there's a, some legitimate concern there because theoretically, I mean, anything anything could happen at a constitutional convention. Don't test. Don't trust the populace to not make populist. Uh, you know. Uh, votes. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you could end up, I mean, you know, FDR was talking about a new Bill of Rights, and that's, you know, kind of the idea uh, behind that. And you could see something like that. You would certainly see uh, such amendments proposed to the Constitution. My case against that, because people get very, very concerned when you talk about a constitutional convention. I mean, as I mentioned, you know, the last time there was one was when we got the Constitution of the United States. That basically scrapped the Articles of Confederation and just rewrote the wrote, rewrote the founding documents of the country. And, and, and many people it, would say that that's uh, that was a you know that was freedoms taking a couple, couple of steps back. And I and I don't entirely disagree. So there's there's some legitimate concerns there. Uh, but my my case has consistently been, I mean, if you, you're talking about a situation where three-fourths of the state legislatures have to ratify an amendment, that's 38 deliberative bodies that have to come to an agreement on something. Yeah. So if you have that situation, I, I think it's terribly unlikely that you're going to have any radical changes. I think I'm for it. For, uh, how about you? A constitutional convention. Are you for it or against it and why? 855-450-FREE. That's 855 450 Three seven three three Free Talk Live. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. 
gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2233. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenevention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenevention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenevention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenevention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, the 38th talk show in the nation, according to uh, Talkers Magazine's uh, but a 38th most important talk talk show or something like that, I think is what the uh, the numbers are. We're it's a, it's delighted. A, it's a measure of importance? Importance, because it doesn't just measure ratings or revenue or whatever other things that yeah, uh, you I might... I suspect if they were rating it by revenue, it would be a yeah, we'd further be getting, down that kicked list. Yeah, we'd be kicked in the pants. <laughs> um, ratings, I, don't, I really couldn't tell you what our ratings are compared to other shows either, but uh, Free Talk Live is different in that we um, are independently syndicated. That's important to them. Uh, we're also uh, we talk about things in a way that other radio programs just don't do. It's certainly a unique program. Yeah, it's a unique program, and I think that that gives us a, a you know large step up. So anyway, I think it's it's awesome. Thanks to uh, the folks over at Talkers Magazine, and uh, we we're we're in good company there. If you need to, you need to protect yourself online, the internet service provider you have is likely saving your surfing history. Criminals are certainly trying to sniff your Wi-Fi packets, and governments and corporations do are documented in trying to limit to what you see on the Internet. ProXPN can solve all of that. You simply download an app for Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android, even Linux. Just connect to the Internet, and you're pr protected from all that. No more prying, no more spying. One account works for all your devices. No need to have a separate account for each device. Just go to ProXPN.com slash 
FTL and use the promo code FTL50. You'll get 50% off the annual account. It's like five bucks a month uh, if you use coupon code FTL50. And what that'll do is that'll give you the savings for the lifetime of the account. So you're not just talking about the first year or something like that. It's for the entire lifetime as long as you have the account. With the premium account, which is what we're talking about here, you'll get unlimited bandwidth, servers all around the world that you can access. So you can look like you're coming from Singapore or London or the Netherlands. Netherlands is great if you're trying to torrent. That You have the ability here to privately torrent, get past regionally blocked websites, and this is kind of important. ProXPN.com doesn't keep records of your online habits at all. You get all that with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50 and get a great discount on privacy. That's priceless. I, I should have had that. I actually got, uh, you know, I've I've talked about it before that I've, I've, my website's been getting DDoS attacked. Yeah, and that's so uh, denial of service. Distributed or denial of service attacks. And, and so, uh, you know, I upset people frequently and then they come after me and try to make my life very difficult. And then what recently happened was I set up a, a chat room for my website and that chat room uh, had a, a system by which people could find the IP addresses of chatters. And somebody got my IP address, uh, hacked my cable modem. And uh, tweeted my Wi-Fi password to me. How oh, how delightful! It terrified me. I ended up formatting all my computers and and changing all my passwords and using two-factor authentication. I did a huge security revamp on basically everything wow. I was doing because I got my home IP address leaked. That would not have happened if I used ProXPN. There you go. It's uh, just that easy. It's proxpn.com slash FTL, coupon code FTL50. We're talking about the idea of a constitutional convention here on uh, Free Talk Live. Uh, we, By the way, you can, you can call in and participate, 855-450-FREE, or you can use uh, Skype, and our username is lrn.fm, and that way you'll sound just a little bit better, but We've talked about constitutional conventions here on Free Talk Live in the past. I don't think we really understood what, what how one would work because what I thought was the states would elect some people to you know delegate some people to go to a convention and then they would write a new constitution. That'd be our constitution, uh, sink or swim. And that sounds like a terrible idea. However, the idea of uh, and I know there's an organization that's trying to do this. Uh, they've they've had some success, and they're reasonably close as far as getting states uh, enough states to agree to a constitutional convention to the point that New Hampshire currently is deciding who they're going to send. Right? I don't know that they're actually electing uh, or selecting delegates at this point. Uh, there there was the New Hampshire state legislature has requested a constitutional convention. That has happened. Okay. I, I went to a committee hearing uh, a few weeks back uh, about a, a bill before the legislature to repeal that call, and I opposed that bill strongly because I, I think a convention is uh, a, a necessary next step in, in this process. And uh, uh, so there are people who are you know, for and against it, but they, I don't. I don't know if they're selecting delegates at this point. But there is not a convention at this point scheduled. You have to get enough states on board to uh, to. But it's pretty close, as I understand it. Um, I, we had the guy who is spearheading this called in on Free Talk Live some months ago, um, and some weeks ago at least. And it seems like it's been more than two months. So some months ago, and he talked about it, and he claimed that there were a, quite a few. States, maybe not the, I think it's 38 states is what they need, but it seemed like the number was more than 30, maybe not as committed as New Hampshire is with a law at this point, but some level of commitment towards getting it done. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying to bring up right now, I've got a list of uh, states with standing calls for a constitutional convention, uh, and there, there are a number, oh, uh, let's see, so... The remaining 18 states have not called for a convention. Citizens must keep a vigilant watch to block legislation in any of these states that call for a concon. Although 32 states had initially passed resolutions calling for a constitutional convention, concon, uh, for the alleged purpose of adding a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution, three states, Alabama, Florida, and Louisiana, have rescinded their calls. So it looks like at this point there are 29 calls for a constitutional convention. Uh, and so 32 had originally passed them, and then three states have rescinded that call. Now, New Hampshire was trying the, – there, there was a bill before the New Hampshire legislature to rescind our call, and I opposed it. Uh, one of the concerns that people –
people bring up is that you're going to have a runaway convention, that you're going to have a situation where they're proposing, you know, New Deal era uh, uh, legis uh, amendments to the Constitution, that you're going to have the Constitution scrapped entirely, which is what happened with the Constitution of the United States. They scrapped the Articles of Confederation. Uh, well, OK, so um, which seems unlikely, three quarters of the states need to uh, propose the, uh, these things. And more than half the states are red states. So it seems it's unlikely, it seems to me, that you're going to get three quarters of the states to that the, the proposals would even be something that they would bother trying to slide past three quarters of the state. So the states would strike things that they didn't like or they would just refuse the whole Constitution. Are you clear on that? Because that's a really sort of pivotal question. The the, the convention can do, uh, you know, any number of things, right? I mean, the, the convention could scrap the Constitution, write a new yeah. one, or they could propose amendments to a Constitution. Now, I'm by the way, here, it needs two thirds of the states need to apply. So that's 30, 34 states. Would okay, be, so they were almost there with thirty two, and they're still re quite close with twenty nine. Yeah, five more states call for a convention. And uh, Congress uh, is going to have no choice in the matter. There's yep. going to be a convention. Uh, and I don't think that the having the oldest government in the world, that's what the Constitution is, is the oldest government in the world, is particularly a, a thing of pride, right? Like having the oldest car on your street— because this is what government is. I mean, it's a technology for communication, um, a technology for, for um, protection, and— you know, having the oldest one, I mean, there's nothing we can do. I think the whole well, if it Senate still functioned, that, if it still functioned like the one that was created all those years ago, I'd be perfectly happy to have the oldest government in the world. Well, unfortunately, mine seems very modern, and it's not the Constitution that that uh, governs it anymore. I'm not even sure why the Senate exists. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855 340 SAVE. 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Talk Live's recent Bitcoin sale was a big success, so we decided to extend the 50% discount through April 17th. Free Talk Live was the first ad venue in the world to accept Bitcoins for ads. We love the concept of a value-based digital currency that allows people to actually control their own money. We introduced Roger Veer, Bitcoin Jesus, to Bitcoins, and here's what he said. Free Talk Live is the premier voice for the peace and liberty Bitcoin will bring to the world. By broadcasting this message since 2011, Free Talk Live has been instrumental in creating the widespread adoption that we have today. If you need some advertising for your business, website, or organization, and you want to save half off, send me an email right now, mark at freetalklive.com. This is your chance to save 50% on national radio and podcast ads. Just pay with Bitcoin. Email mark at freetalklive.com. That's mark at freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road underground market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The Total Losers Corpse contained no traces of drugs or alcohol, and a superstitious Delta Airlines adds busty mermaids to its plane noses. My friend, you look like you are in need of the world's finest internet news summaries. Please come in and warm yourself by the fire of knowledge. This is The Onion Week in Review. A new law passed in Colorado this week will allow residents with a doctor's prescription to purchase medicinal fireworks, saying that those in need of stargazers, firecrackers, and galleria highlights now need only obtain a doctor's doctor's prescription, state officials expressed hope that the law would ease the suffering of those in need of huge, dazzling explosions. And in this week's op-ed pages, a man notes that, like it or not, we all die, then get dug up and molested. In other news, white male privilege is squandered on a job at Best Buy, and a local TCBY has missed the past two logo changes. Well, that's it for now. Goodbyes are bittersweet, my love, so I'll only tell you, for more, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want here on this live edition of Free Talk Live. It's 855-450-FREE. I want to tell you real quick about Cameron Hughes Wines. Now, I've I've gone ahead and I've splurged in the past uh, to have good wine. Um, I'm kind of a red wine drinker personally, but they have all kinds of wines over at chwine.com. And those that it's great wine, there's no doubt. Um, But the, the wine I've splurged on, but the wine that I got from chwine.com a couple of few weeks ago it was just as good if not better and it was significantly less costly they have discounts there from anywhere from like 40 percent on up to 70 percent because you know the great wineries of napa valley valley they produce wine but they're never going to be sure exactly how much they need to produce sometimes they produce extra cameron hughes goes around he purchases that extra wine, and he bottles it up and in his bottles. Now, you're not going to know which winery it was, but you do will know that it is great wine, and it is really great wine. Uh, go check it out, chwine.com. There's a microphone in the upper left-hand corner. If you click on that and enter coupon code FTL, you will get a special offer that uh, Cameron and I have worked out. It's, uh, it's exclusive to us. It's 20% off of many of their best wines and free shipping. So previously they were offering free shipping. Now they're doing 20% off of uh, many of their, their best wines too. It's a really great offer. And go take advantage of it now because it is limited time. There's no doubt about it. chwine.com, coupon code FTL. You click on the microphone in the upper left-hand corner and enter that coupon it's code. It's madness. <laughs> it's madness. We had, him, we had him on the show the other day, last week, I think, and uh, and – he was telling us what a pain in the neck it is to ship this stuff, and I was remarking previously that free shipping is like crazy to ship wine around and then 20% off on top of it. I'm, it he's not paying me to say this. I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> well, I can tell you I know why. It's because Free Talk Live has done very, very well in selling his wine, and we um, – we, like he sells in retail outlets and stuff like that, but our listeners are buying exclusively online, whereas the margins are a little bit better. So okay. he wants to get more people doing it, and it's really it's really working out great. So it's chwine.com. Click on the microphone in the upper left, and uh, it just enter coupon code FTL. Let's go to Jay calling in probably – uh, in New York, Jay, are you in, in New York? No, I'm in Massachusetts today. Okay. Um, so what's on your mind? Any, anyways, uh, my brother I got arrested last night for driving without a license. Oh, my. We don't have licenses. Um, and so we go to court this morning, and we we're sitting there in a the courtroom, and so they call him up, Chris Noon. He walks up there. The uh, judge says, oh, you've been charged with blah, blah, blah. Do you want a lawyer to represent you, or are you going to represent yourself? So Chris had an affidavit prepared called Asset Affidavit of um, Resignation from the uh, from the um, agency. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. 
So the judge, so Chris says, well, I am myself. I'm me. I can't rep- I'm not representing anything. I'm merely here to defend from a loss of life, liberty, or property. So the judge, like, just about has a meltdown. He says, oh, I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you getting a lawyer, or do you want a court-appointed lawyer, or are you going to represent yourself? Those are your three choices. Chris says, oh, I'm not here to represent anything. I'm just me. I don't represent myself. I'm not representing anything. It's really interesting. How can you represent yourself? Yeah. Exactly. That is a, it's a really oh, well. great point. What, what, because there's, there's these courtroom theories out there that tend to get people thrown in jail generally that, uh, you know, that y- there's a, this straw man that the government's created with you, with your birth certificate and that sort of thing. But this, uh, this verbiage that surrounds people taking their own cases to trial says that you represent yourself. But how could you do that? Well, yourself is the um, the other entity. Right, but, well, or, or whatever. Know. I mean, it gives credence to this idea. Sure. So, so anyways, uh, the judge says, do you recognize the authority of this court? And Chris goes, no, I don't. The judge goes, get out of my courtroom right now. And I'm going to put a warrant out for your arrest for for failure to appear. What kind so, of sense does that make? The man's absolutely. standing in his courtroom. <laughs> and he's going to get arrested for failure to appear as he's in a courtroom. Oh, so, oh, so this even gets better. So we go over to the clerk's office, and we already had a special appearance. So we took the, court, the court's uh, uh, notice of attorney appearance. We crossed out attorney, put special, crossed out attorney, you know, put man, and, and it's it's on my my uh, Facebook page. You can watch the video. I show the documents on there, and um, we go file it in the clerk's office. And the clerk, she was the the whoever was in the clerk's office, really nice people in that clerk's office like at the East Brookfield District Court. Very willing to help. They gave us the case number. They they stamped it, and she's walking over to the um uh, to the photocopier. Uh, to, to give us uh, basically receipts on filing these documents, stamped copies. And a clerk, magistrate from in the courtroom comes storming in, says, don't give them people anything. They don't recognize the authority of this court. We don't recognize them. Oh, that's awesome, I said to the guy. Thank you. I go, but, you know, are you denying me, uh, denying us our right to make a record to file these documents? And he takes the documents and he runs off with them. And I say, hey, what's your name? He won't tell us his name. And he has the... Um, palace guards escort us out of the place hmm. so so we go down to the impound yard where the trucks impounded that they towed last night there's a cop there waiting for us i go hey man what's going on he goes are you jay noon i says yep i sure am he goes, well you didn't warn out for your arrest i gotta arrest you buddy okay i go hey can we uh you know go real fast and put the sirens on when we go back to the courthouse and everybody's laughing so he asked me we got to the, we get back to the um police department Oh, are you Christopher Noon? Nope, I'm not. Oh no! So they, they let me go. So well, oh, anyways, no. my brother went up <laughs> went up to Boston to go to the Supreme Judicial Court today, and he's got an appointment with them tomorrow morning. So he's staying up there tonight, mm-hmm. uh, and he's staying, he ain't having a judicial review, um, emergency meeting being done on this um, judge and this magistrate. So they let me go. You know, I was in custody for about you know I was in custody for about half an hour. So I, I go back up to the courthouse. They're sweet as pie. They give me, um, they, uh, they're like, where's your brother? There's a warrant out for his arrest. And I'm like, oh, he's up Where's your Boston. brother? There's a warrant yeah. out for his arrest? <laughs> so, so, so they gave me the certified copies of his appearance. He did a written appearance, notice of appearance. Okay. And it's stamped to like 15 minutes before the warrant is stamped for not appearing. It is absolutely hilarious. But they wouldn't give me a copy of the warrant. That's interesting. So oh. you've got you, you've got a, a, a notice of appearance stamped at the courthouse at about 15 minutes before the uh, war- arrest for the warrant for non-appearance, right? At the same That's courthouse. Right. That's right. Yeah, these people same courthouse. are criminals. Yep. They're a bunch, a bunch of criminals. You know why they call it criminal court? <laughs> I mean, really, it's, right. they they call <laughs> themselves a bunch of criminals. Yeah. <laughs> You got a you got a criminal lawyer in this town. <laughs> uh, we haven't been able to prove it. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah. I haven't been, I haven't found one that's not, sir. <laughs> the uh, I mean, I I wish I wish we could get you to come do this stuff in New Hampshire where we can record in the courtrooms. Because I mean, I've I've heard a couple of uh, I I know that you are having all of these sort of adventures in legal land. Uh, and Jay can't get arrested in New Hampshire. I mean, he's up here all the time, uh, but for whatever reason, he has the problems he has in New York State and uh, and Mass. And it's not even me. Actually, I have a no problem. I've been pulled over in New York, and I don't have a driver's license. And I'm and I've been able to talk my way out of it every single time. And I gotta knock on a little wood here on the side of the barn to keep that going. But uh, Massachusetts, it's a totally different story. I've been pulled over in Maine. I've been pulled over in Vermont. No, I don't have a driver's license. I'm not a person. I'm not. Your code doesn't apply to me. They walk back to their cruiser. And they're like, oh, man, I really, you know, just get out of here. Yeah. Massachusetts, no. <laughs> no. And same thing with my brother. Connecticut, I've been pulled over in Connecticut. I've been pulled over in Pennsylvania, Colorado, um, even in Indiana. And jo- just, Jay, keep us, like- keep us posted on this. It's an interesting story. I appreciate the call. 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. Fascinating. Free Talk Live. So who else will you meet at the Get Prepared Expo? For starters, from Republic Broadcasting, John Moore and John Statmiller. From GCN, Aaron and Brad Dakins, Joyce Riley, and me, Vincent Finelli. Joining us are the instructors whom you've learned to trust. Surgeon of the Year, Dr. Norman Shuley. Engineer, Matt Stein. The real Fox Mulder of the X-Files, Dr. Richard Allen Miller. Author and analyst, Captain John Reagan. Your counter-terrorist from Central America, Mike Ma. Dental center owner and my dentist, Dr. Howard Shane. Radiation instructor, Craig Douglas. Author and survivalist, Rich Sheban. Author, Judy Dollarhite. Cancer center owner from Mexico, Dr. Patrick Vickers. Bug out expert and pilot, Captain Bill Sermo. Beekeeper, Jeff Maddox. Seedsman, Mike Knox author Gayla Pruitt, author Harry Cooper, food expert Joe Accapenti, and Bill Whaley, the junk man, March 27, 28, and 29. Get preparedexpo.com, the largest preparedness and survival expo in the USA. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. 
LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. ChristopherCantwell.com. Yep. Do I have that right? Yep. That's What's at the top of the page? The top of the page is, I uh, uh, right now it's the uh, constitutional carry was before the, uh, uh, there was a hearing at the House of Representatives uh, or the, uh, the, uh, New Hampshire the criminal House. safety, uh, criminal justice and public safety committee of the House of Representatives was hearing a bill that has already passed the Senate in New Hampshire uh, to repeal the requirement for a concealed carry permit. The, the permits will still be available to those who want them so that you can have reciprocity when you travel. Uh, so you sort of get best of both worlds, but the uh, there's video up there right now from me, Ian, and Daryl uh, testifying at this committee to uh, to repeal the requirement for a concealed carry permit, and I think that that is awesome. I think that's expected to pass. It's a, we've got a Republican pass the House. Yeah, well, it, it passed the Senate. I we expect it to pass the House, and then there's some uh, concern over whether or not Maggie Hassan is going to try to veto the bill. But it's sort of expected that she will not because the, she's seeking higher office, uh, uh, some folks believe, and that that would really tick off New Hampshire voters uh, if she— Even New Hampshire Democrats? I, you know, when, uh, at least from the makeup of the people who bothered to show up at that committee hearing, Mark, I got to tell you, yep. New, New Hampshire is an amazing, amazing place. You know, I in, in New York, the SAFE Act, the sweeping gun control uh, legislation passed in the wake of Sandy Hook, flew through both houses of the legislature with almost no resistance whatsoever. Here, the place was absolutely packed with, with uh, pro-gun people. There were like three or four anti-gunners from like Granite State Progress and Moms Demand Action, which is is not a porno site, depending, despite how it might sound. Uh, <laughs> uh, and there were, you know, there's just a couple of them there, but they were so totally drowned out by by pro gun uh, New Hampshire residents, and I was uh, I was delighted, delighted to see that. Yeah, there you go. Let's <laughs> let's go to Mike calling in from Oregon. Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, folks, how you doing? All's well. What's on your mind? Well, I want to quickly comment about something, and then I'll talk about what I originally called in about. Uh, at the top of the the show, there you were talking about, you know, you know what's the difference between the constitution, you know, the uh, democracy and a constitutional republic, and all that. And I want to quote something that I watched a debate on YouTube. I think this was back in like 2008 or 2009. Democracy relies on coercion and the threats of force to bring about, as well as maintain an involuntary arrangement. So. It doesn't matter whether you know what side of the coin you're on or whatnot. It's still it's all the same thing to me. Um, I just wanted to quickly comment. What was that? that? I, 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 I missed... Yeah, I'm having a little trouble hearing the guy. But you know, he said basically, de democracy is force. Is is was your premise, right? Right. It was a it was a debate in uh, Los Angeles, California, between two socialists and two uh, anarchists, and they were having a debate uh, saying that in an anarchist uh, society or any other, for that matter, cannot exist uh, beside a, democ uh, a democracy because, as stated, democracy relies on coercion and the threats of force to bring about as well as maintain an involuntary arrangement. So, in other words, an anarchist society or a voluntary society has no problem with a, a democracy existing, provided it is 100% voluntarily, which means people can come and go as they choose. However, a democracy has a problem with a, a voluntary society or anarchist society existing because democracy itself relies on coercion to bring about 
as well as maintain that involuntary yeah. carry range. So here's here would be an example, for instance. Uh, you'll see that people, wealthy people around the world, tend to be moving places. They tend to be moving um, to places like uh, Isle of Man, Jersey, the Jersey, the uh, the Channel Islands, uh, Cayman, things like that. The int- the reason they're moving to these places is, is that it's it, it's an expeditious tax rate for them. They can live out their lives without having to give up that much money. And you, I mean, you know, many people will say this is terrible. Oh my God! But for whatever reason, that's what they want to do. And so, right. um, you, you know, I. I've seen people give up their U.S. citizenship. I've seen a person give up his U.S. citizenship and pay hundreds of thousands of dollars just to be able to do that. Because to do it, you have to pay an exit tax. You have to, uh, you know, pay for their little forms to to get the to give up your citizenship and all kinds of things. But at some point or another, people say, "Yeah, it's worth it. I'm going to go and be a citizen of something else." And well, there's no there's no such thing as a citizen because a citizen is one who swears swears through allegiance in return for an obligation of protection. But I do see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes, I, I would I would agree with you that uh, you know according to the legal definition of a citizen, um, sort of in the past, but. The fact is, is that governments call you citizens, and that's the term they use. Um, you know, they right, could just exactly. as easily call you a subject. It's just that people wouldn't like it as much if they were called that. Exactly. They they could call us rocket propelled grenades, <laughs> but it you know, it, like for all the fact that's behind these things. So is right. that all you want to talk exactly. about, Mike? Uh, uh, well, one other thing, um, you were talking yesterday with Ian about uh, this cover of a, a comic book, the. I guess uh, that girl had a Joker face painted on her. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't see why, uh, you know, people will get not so much upset, but there's like a lot of talk about it because, like, I'm not really into comic books, but I got two friends on the East Coast, uh, one in New Hampshire, one in Virginia Beach, who are very much into comic books. They're more into, like, uh, uh, Marvel and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I used to read something called Nintendo Power Magazine. And I think this is a great magazine. It went from 1989 to 2012. And I actually grabbed, I've got issues 1 through 121, and I've got them all sealed up in, in bags and stuff, and I got them in, in the closet. You're but into them. When, oh, uh, very much so. Okay. And uh, the last issue, the last issue of the magazine was actually a, re, uh, a redo of the very first cover. It shows... Mario hopping from toad uh, from mushroom to mushroom while King Koopa is chasing him, but it's more of a computer generated uh, image. And when that came out, I mean, I was horribly depressed over it because it's you're kind of coming to the end of an era, and it and actually I was depressed over it. So what did I do? I went out to the store and I bought the last copy. And then when I was in Concord one night, I actually bought two more copies and I I left them in the bags and I have actually three copies of that magazine just because hey. This is the last issue. I might as well grab, you know, several. You know, it's it's just something I did. You know, yeah. Some people might not be into it, but what's you know, it got to do with Batgirl and uh, the Joker painting well, on her face just, or whatever? I just when I was hearing about um, comic books, I kind of wanted to relate that to video game magazines. It's kind of along the same the same lines as. Yep, you all know, magazines like, are basically collectible. I'm sure people people have, uh, right. you know, uh, TV guides. I, I we used to get TV right. guide. I, I think everybody got TV guide. This is uh, this is the port, sort of saddest story in publication history. Is everybody used to get TV guide, and then over time, newspapers kind of scooped TV guide by providing the the channels that were on. And then over time, there were so many channels you couldn't even they couldn't even tell you what was on because there's just so many channels. So you had to kind of look at the guide on the t- the, the the, the, the television itself and TV guide magazines uh, used to be re- very collectible. And now I used to watch sure. that, that stupid what? channel. It was channel 14. I remember. And I would watch that thing for hours. I'd be like, Oh, I'm going to see what's on. And then it just sits there and I fall asleep with it on you and then I mesmerizing. wake up to it. And I never actually tuned to any of the channels that it's explaining to me. Mike, thanks for the I call. Remember, uh, oh. it, okay. No problem. Okay, talk to you later. 855-450 free. Let's go to Dalek NCAP. Calling in from, well, I don't know, somewhere in time, probably. Yes. Yeah. Uh so basically around Colorado. But um <laughs> I, I was kind of thinking <laughs> um I was kind of thinking a little bit about like uh around the social justice warriors. And uh, when I think about it, usually they their mental maturity really their 
basically children, you know, they're, they're basically, you know, if they're being criticized that they would just go into this little place. And I, I was hearing about these safe places or whatever it was, because they don't want to be criticized. They don't want to be ridiculed. They don't want to be, they don't want to be challenged. And like, as a libertarian, you know, who also is an anarchist, I think about like, uh, when I say, I don't think there should be a state, I'm always criticized. I'm always ridiculed, but I like it because it engages me. I, I like it because it helps me get a better argument to look at the information that I have. And we, and discuss it. That's not bad. But these well, people uh, just redirect it away. They don't want to listen to it. They're, they're, you know, kind of opinions. Well, one of the ways that always. they direct away, Dalek, is by saying things like, "They're, you know, you're just a bunch of children. You're a bunch of babies crying that you have to pay income tax." And this is why I would uh, step away from sort of the silly name calling into, uh, you know, n name calling that might make b more sense because I can tell you that yeah, I've been called a petulant child in the past and. Uh, you know, I, I think that that same argument can be lobbed back at the other side. Well, status and social justice warriors are not known for having terribly strong arguments. They generally have to distract in order to uh, to get away from the issue because they Hold can't the stand line. on the issue. Yeah, like the, okay. Hold the line. 855-450-FREE. You can comment on this too. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Like when the jeweler ruined my ring and wouldn't do anything about it. But when my Legal Shield attorney called him and told him what my rights were, I received a check for over $2,100. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855 340 SAVE. Again, 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. This is Rick Osick, president of Famous Footwear. Our company is working together with the March of Dimes through March for Babies to raise money and awareness about the serious problem of premature birth in the U.S. As a business leader, I know that babies born very sick or too soon cost businesses billions of dollars each year, in addition to the emotional stress on employees and their families. That's why Famous Footwear is committed to raising funds to improve the health of moms and babies everywhere. Won't you please join us in the March for Babies? Start a team today at marchforbabies.org. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, March 25th, 2015. Silver is trading at $17.03 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,197 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $246. Antiwar.com reports an unnamed Israeli official quoted by the Times of Israel says it is no secret among officials that the White House attempted to influence last week's elections and see Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu get ousted. The official said Obama had previously tried to bring down the Netanyahu coalition and failed, and that he was also driven by a quest for revenge after Netanyahu's speech to Congress. He also speculated that Obama was trying to divert attention from the negotiations with Iran to the Palestinian 
Palestinian issue. Netanyahu openly accused the U.S. and other Western countries of trying to sabotage his election campaign in the days leading up to the election, and on the day of the vote, claimed foreign powers were responsible for the high turnout among Arab voters. If anything, however, Netanyahu was the one who made his public split with Obama a campaign issue in the Israeli election, and his last-minute campaigning saw a dramatic rightward shift against the peace process while insisting his opponents were in league with the Americans. You can support FPP Radio by joining the Fans Program. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the Fans Program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the Fans Program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot fppradio.com. UPI reports Oklahoma is one step closer to being the next state to allow alternative methods of execution as correctional departments increasingly run out of lethal injection drugs. The Oklahoma Senate Judiciary Committee on Tuesday sent a bill to the full Senate that, if passed, would allow the state to execute death row inmates using nitrogen gas. The legislation advanced with an 8-0 vote without any debate in committee. Under the proposed law, if the state's primary method of execution, lethal injection, is found unconstitutional, then the second method would be death by nitrogen gas. After that, the alternative would be electrocution. The state's current protocol is lethal injection, electrocution, then firing squad. The use of nitrogen gas causes a person to black out and eventually die. On Monday, Utah Governor Gary R. Herbert signed into law legislation that allows that state to use the firing squad for executions if lethal injection drugs are not available. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports the number two official at the U.S. Homeland Security Department exerted improper influence while at another agency on behalf of politically connected Democrats seeking visas for foreign investors, according to the department's inspector general in a report released on Tuesday. Homeland Security Deputy Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, when he was head of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, gave special treatment in three cases, including to a company run by now Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, according to the report, but it was also determined that Mayorkas had broken no laws. The EB-5 program allows foreigners to obtain visas to live permanently in the United States if they invest $500,000 to $1 million in businesses that create U.S. jobs. The Washington Post report McAuliffe's company, from which he resigned before running for governor, was working with Gulf Coast Fund Management, a firm specializing in obtaining EB-5 visas, and was run by Anthony Rodham, the brother of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson said in a statement that he directed his general counsel to make changes to the program to make sure it is free from the reality or perception of improper outside influence. Mayorkas said in a statement he disagreed with the Inspector General's report. He said the program was badly broken when he arrived at the Immigration Services Agency and he had sought to improve it with a hands-on manner. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following the news this week that recording artist and industry magnate Bob Dylan would be laying off 2,000 workers from his Muscatine, Iowa songwriting factory in an effort to streamline his music-making operations, The Onion spoke with veteran factory worker Travis Felton, who received a pink slip earlier today. I've been working on the lyric assembly line for 25 years now. Punch in each and every morning, make sure the words are complex and poetic. And yesterday, the foreman calls me into his office to tell me that the company is reducing headcount. They're giving the whole rhyming section the boot. What Mr. Dillon and the other suits don't understand is that here in Muscatine, songwriting is all we have. And we've been doing the best damn Dillon songs in the world for over 50 years. And now they're trying to take that away from us. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Well, I guess I could see if they're hiring over at the Tom Petty factory in Hurstville. Lord knows I hoped it'd never come to that.
This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855 453. It's 855 450 3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. This live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Cantwell from ChristopherCantwell.com. Let's get back to the phones. We had Dalek Ancap, who had called in to talk about social justice warriors and then to kind of lob a few uh, name, little name calling. So, Dalek, you're back on Free Talk Live. Can you hear me now? Mm, did we lose Dalek? Or do we have, like, uh, it's, audio it's, it's issues? Unmuted. Oh, unmuted. Sorry, guys. Uh, there you yeah, go. No okay, good. I'm sorry. I was just muted. Um, so... Uh, when I'm, I'm not really talking about that, that I'm name calling. It's just that when I think about it, the, the reasons of their own arguments, they don't really back up the evidence of what they're trying to say. And well, because there isn't any. Exactly. Exactly. One thing I often get accused of as a uh, as a libertarian is to be is being in uh, basically lucky, uh, right? Um, you know, I, a person who spent eight and a half years in prison for murder when I never killed anybody, um, is lucky. Um, also, being uh, healthy, I, a person who had a debilitating uh, back injury for about eight or nine years, lucky. I, I did get cured recently, and yeah, uh, dry needling. Yeah, Google it if you've got a back problem. Dry needling um and uh, you know like all the things that essentially i am the privileged white upper class uh, person and i just want to you know now that i've made it right like i drive a 2002 ford f-350 pickup truck that uh you know probably won't make it through next year's inspection because of rust uh you know i'm entitled and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's only one working person in my house. I'll give you that because we have prioritized my son being um, homeschooled. But I think other than that, I really wouldn't call – I get to work at a job I love. But as far as being privileged, I think that that's pushing it. Yeah. Uh, the the – the the reason I, I sympathize with uh, Dala calling them children, okay, because this the, the whole thing about this is is that when you factually look at the arguments being made by the social justice warriors and by the left, there is not an argument to be made. I mean, even the the gun control advocates at the uh, at the at the hearing yesterday, okay, there was like three or four people from from these anti gunner groups, and in New York they win the day because they are greater in number than we are but when they come to a thing in new hampshire and they're 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 trying to spew their emotional garbage their their arguments are getting trounced by uh, by by the pro gun people because we have the reason and the facts and the evidence on our side the only thing that they have is uh, you know the, the the support of their peers, and they don't have an argument to be made, and that is an inherently childish, stupid, silly thing that does not deserve to be taken seriously. Now, I have heard um, so. I- I I think that to some of this extent, this is a, a type of people, right? So the, the lefties that are willing to come out and testify tend to be those that are passionate. Those that are passionate tend not to be the type that can make uh, great arguments as far as uh, gun control or whatever the argument is they're making. I've heard lefties make good arguments in the past. I've certainly talked to them online. I, I, you know, I'm not willing to spend hours and hours putting in an essay and on a Facebook page that, uh, you know, maybe a dozen people are going to read when I have a nationally syndicated radio talk show where any idiot can call in and talk about anything they want. And then these people refuse to call in and debate, um, uh, you know, like that, that I find that frustrating, right? Like you disagree with me, but I give you a forum to call in and debate and you refuse to do that. Instead, you want to go back and forth writing essays on the internet uh, that nobody's going to see no thanks well i mean uh, i i do some amount of that on my website right i'm i'm writing essays and i'm and i'm frequently responding to but at least to you're left-wing garbage on your website or something well exactly and so uh you know i don't necessarily give people a, a forum by which to uh to to spew their garbage i mean they can comment but they can't link to their stuff in, in the comments on my website uh and uh we do we go back and forth and we have a little bit more of a substantial back and forth that way because 
uh, I feel like it's it's it, you can more substantially address an issue uh, by by writing uh, some some substantive text. And I sympathize with people who don't want to call into Free Talk Live and have a debate because, as I've remarked with callers before, we will dominate that conversation. There's no two ways about it. Well, I, I think I I believe that I've had my mind changed by callers over the years. Um, so if they make a good cogent argument, um, I'd love to hear it. But I mean, I just don't think that there's Ultimately, the argument that we're going to make here on Free Talk Live is, is, look, do I have the ability to disassociate with you and your society and start my own society? If the answer is yes, then excellent. We agree. And if the answer is no, then you're a petty little tyrant who wishes to kill people. Like, ultimately, that's I mean, there's really not much getting around it. Well, yeah, and I mean, the the, the uh, there's not. I don't believe that there is a substantive, sensible argument to be made for the state, and for that matter, I don't think there's a substance, to, uh, a, a fact-based, evidence, reason-based, uh, substantial argument to be made for the social justice warrior garbage that goes on in anarchist circles either. I don't believe that all of this screaming about pay gaps and and uh, and uh, uh, the. Per- Perpetual whining about race and gender and all of this stuff is is really uh, a, a thing that there's a there's a reasonable argument behind. Every single time it is brought up in order to bypass the reason centers. It is it is a it is a tactic that is used uh, almost entirely by the left to distract people from the issue at hand and remove any uh, uh, potential for a reasonable debate. Well, I think that there's there's definitely institutionalized racism and racism generally in the country, uh, but you know what what form does that take? And and um, I think you, there's going to be all kinds of debate surrounding it. Well, I don't. If, go if, ahead, Delic. Uh, what I was about to say, I mean, in some universities, actually, there's uh, there's these things called like safe places, safe areas, um, in which uh, basically you cannot like go against somebody else's arguments just because it might be like a, a trigger quote unquote or uh like what was going on with uh that cover um you know is supposed to be a trigger what cover? You know, oh the uh the yes the yeah. uh the, the batman, the cover, batman w- cover the batgirl cover i should say um where uh joker I, was uh yeah you know drawing on her face or whatever uh he was doing and what what was this i don't i i didn't catch this episode okay. so yeah. can you yeah so uh well, there's... um could I actually just bring it out? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so, uh, so basically, this was basically a tribute to uh, one of a few comic books where uh, I think it was Laura or something like that actually uh, was either a uh, raped or actually killed by the Joker, right? So basically, paralyzed. it was just a bit uh, paralyzed, or yeah. Um, so. Basically, they were bringing back out a tribute because, you know, Batman was out since, like, 75 years. Okay, so, you know, um, so they just brought it out. It was it was just supposed to be something more of a, a – just a, a great thing just to bring it out there um, within, you know, how Batman was out for pretty a long time. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> but um, – and a lot of these people are like, uh, change the cover, change the cover, change the cover. And uh, a lot of – so they gave the artist and uh, uh, DC a little bit of scrutiny just because of this cover. So what? So the, the, the story with the, with the Batgirl cover is that the social justice warriors freaked out over it, right? They're saying this is a tr- – you're, you're triggering people. Is that the, is that the story? Yeah, kind of, sort of. I These people should shit. jump off a building. I'm so sick of listening to this garbage. I think that um, in this circumstance, by the way, the artist capitulated in this. So, he- and that's the worst part of this: that the people back down to this garbage, and and they give these people credence. You have to stop doing this, ladies and gentlemen. Do not back down to the social justice warriors. Every single time you do that, you make the world a worse place. So I think that the the best arguments I heard for the uh, against the Batgirl cover was a Batgirl has recently become sort of a young girls uh, comic. So this cover was referencing back to 30 years ago when uh, Batgirl, a different Batgirl, basically was uh, was. Uh, paralyzed and and probably raped. Um, it didn't really reference that entirely, but that was the, the the. So it was just inappropriate. And this was a variant cover, not the original one. And the secondary aspect was is that she doesn't look very heroic. How come 
uh, the other heroes get to look heroic and she doesn't. So that's kind of, I don't know, it's interesting. I still wouldn't have pulled it. 855-450-3733, Free Talk Live. The freeze-dry guy, leader in the preparedness industry for 44 years, is closing his California warehouse. Don't miss out on this huge warehouse sale and receive discounts from 30 to 40% off on the finest mountain house and pack away brand freeze dried and dehydrated foods for long term food storage or even everyday use. Plus, deep discounts on all in stock survival gear. The freeze dry guy is offering a wide selection of freeze dried foods in number 10 cans and even individually packaged entrees. Remember, meats, vegetables, fruits, and long range patrol rations are the main components for any long term food storage. This is limited to stock on hand, so hurry and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, as always, free shipping to the lower 48 states, so hurry up and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, this is limited to stock on hand. The freeze-dry guy is your choice for survival food in an uncertain world. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. Here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Cantwell. 855 free. You've probably heard about Bitcoins. If you haven't, well, you should investigate them because at this point, uh, a majority of Americans have heard about Bitcoins and uh, that puts you on the, um, the opposite of the bleeding edge. You don't want to be there. 
go check out uh, some information. For instance, you can go to bitcoin.freetalklive.com. We have links there to teach you about Bitcoin. And if you want to get some, and I recommend getting Bitcoin now, uh, if you want to get some, it's on sale. Yeah, well, it's yeah, it could certainly be it could certainly be a lot more. I suspect it will be. Just go to expresscoin.com. They've got Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, whatever cryptocurrency you want to get. They make it fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business. You can get your cryptocurrencies, whether in you're in the US or Canada, through a money order, a check, whatever you want to do, um, over there at expresscoin.com that's the place to start out they even have an app for you you can use coupon code ftl to get up to 40 dollars worth of your cryptocurrency at no fee at all expresscoin.com coupon code ftl are we are we contractually obligated to mention dogecoin in that ad uh we don't have to no we should stop they um i don't i i can't take that thing seriously it's supposed to be a joke and then all of a sudden like people are actually trading in it yeah yeah well you can buy buy some things in dogecoin i i suppose i should take it seriously if you can right there's some places that you can use dogecoin not nearly as many that you as you can use bitcoin but yeah, you have to you know have 50 million dogecoin to buy oh, yeah. something probably oh, yeah. but silly. you can actually get that many i think i don't get it either really um but the you know the, the doge guys they are into it or at least they were i think it's I don't know. Maybe it's become less popular. There's, there's the there's the Twitter bot is like Doge Tip or Tip Doge or something, and uh -huh. and they uh, people will send you Dogecoin by Twitter. They mention you and they say Doge Tip, you know, vote for Cantwell. That's my <laughs> Twitter handle. You should follow me on Twitter. Uh, and uh, vote for Cantwell. Yeah, F O R. And uh, and, and so <laughs> I don't know. Somebody sent me like two or three hundred Dogecoin at one point, and I was like, whoa, that's awesome. And I went and I looked at the. <laughs> Exchange rate on it, it was like, like eleven cents. Yeah. <laughs> Eight fifty-five, four fifty free, or LRN dot FM on Skype. Let's go to David calling in from Florida. David, what's on your mind? Hey guys, um, I just currently lost my job working at Scary. I used to work on listen to you on Saturdays. Okay, sorry to hear that. And I, you know what, I love working listening to you on Saturdays. Cool. So uh, and, uh, what's the issue? I will. I call. I call up and every you know again on Saturday. So, um, well, welcome to Wednesday. I, you know. You know what? I did security work and everything. You know that I'm a Marine. I'm a former Marine. Always will be a Marine. Afghanistan, Iraq, and um, I hate this government. I got injured in Iraq. How so? Um. Got hit by an IED, mm. and the uh, vehicle turned around and landed on top of me. Jeez, ouch! Lost the other, you know, lost the other two guys, or the other four guys that were in the in the in the convoy or in the truck with me. Um, so I've you know been that's there. not your fault, right? No, it's it's not my fault that okay. the IED hit and everything. It's like I don't I don't blame my government. And stuff. I blame you know. And now we're fighting ISIS. I'm not fighting them. And everything. Well, uh, well, it, it, it's going to come here, whether we, you know, regardless of what what it is, and everything. Um, the government hates, you know, Obama. He hates this country. He does not like this. He does not like this. He does not like this. You know. You know, it's, it I seems to be. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to get this out. You don't know how to get this. I mean, but that Obama hates the country. I I I don't think that Obama uh, has any uh, particular difference of opinion about this particular piece of geography than anybody else does. What what Obama uh, is is a is a guy who is the most powerful gang leader in the in. In the world, right? I mean, he's, and I have seen, and I have seen a lot of gang leaders yeah. over there. You see a lot of gang leaders. I have been on mass grave diggings that there are little baby skulls with bullet holes in them. Well, sometimes, sometimes too. Yeah, well, you know, uh, sometimes the baby don't stop when you put the first bullet in its skull. Oh, I guess yeah. <laughs> it's, if the, if the and, thing and, won't and, stop yeah. crying, you've got no choice but to double tap. David, I really hope the yeah. best for you. I appreciate the call. Thank and you so I, much. 855-450 free. You know, war is so terrible and the people that it 
uh, it seems to harm the most the vets. When you look at the suicide rate among veterans, um, there are more more veterans have died from suicide than from anything else. Now I don't know what the circumstances were behind his his firing, but it can't put you in a good mental state. No, it certainly cannot. I mean, you go over to this place, and I mean, he's telling us that he's uh, seeing a mass grave with babies yep. with two bullets in their heads. Well, I mean, this in a is very a short period of time, in about two minutes, he told us, uh, you know, like his friends died in a truck. Um, he, uh, you know, he had to bury a bunch of dead babies in a uh, in a large grave. Um, you know, he clearly has uh, disdain for the, the, the government of the nation that he uh, fought for. He said that he was always a Marine. This is These are all sort of interesting. And the belief that uh, ISIS is going to come over here. I mean... There's, there seems to be a lot going on with the gentleman there. Yeah. And that's what happens when you send uh, many, many thousands of people into a foreign country to kill people who they otherwise never would have met. And it's uh, yeah. and it's a, you you can't you can't possibly think that that's that you're going to engage in some that kind of behavior and then everything's just going to go back to normal you know and and now that people have access to the internet and they can communicate uh, more efficiently and and get these messages out and people realize that uh, hey maybe uh, maybe this wasn't such a great idea after all these guys come back uh, and and. Maybe in maybe in previous wars they come back and feel like they uh, they're heroes. I mean, there's a bunch of Vietnam veterans at the at the at the hearing yesterday that they're talking about how they fought for our rights, and I, I don't think that people are buying the story anymore, unfortunately. You well, know, for, I don't. I said unfortunately, fortunately. I think that um, many people signed up to fight for our rights, um, and the, the I think that they come to the conclusion, like probably David did, that. They're not doing much for our rights, um, that they're doing, essentially, they're doing the bidding of politicians who uh, apparently were ill-advised, have been ill-advised for a very long time, and don't seem to be learning from it. Right. And, well, I mean, I think they're, I think the politicians are, are learning that uh, that they can quite literally get away with murder. And it, I, I wouldn't say that they're failing to learn. I, I'd say they're doing exactly what uh, they... I don't think that this is an accident at, at all. It right? sounds like you've ceased to give them the benefit of the doubt. Yes, I certainly have. I don't I don't think that the, the people who uh, engage in, in these things are, are ignorant of the outcome of their actions. They're, they're doing these things for a specific person. This is, this is not a malfunction. This is a feature. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Your thoughts are welcome. 855-450-FREE. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Phone records, financial and location data, Prism, Tempora, X-Keyscore, Boundless Informant, Hey, y'all, Scott Horton here for offnow.org. Now, here's the deal. Due to the Snowden revelations, we have a great opportunity for a short period of time to get some real rollback of the national surveillance state. Now, they're already trying to tire us by introducing fake reforms in the Congress. And the courts, they betray their sworn oaths to the Constitution and Bill of Rights again and again and can in no way be trusted to stop the abuses for us. We've got to do it ourselves. How? We nullify it at the state level. 
It's still not easy, but the Off Now project of the 10th Amendment Center has gotten off to a great start. I mean it. There's real reason to be optimistic here. They've gotten their model legislation introduced all over the place. In state after state, I've lost count, more than a dozen. You're always wondering, yeah, but what can we do? Here's something, something important, something that can work if we do the work. Get started cutting off the NSA support in your state. Go to offnow.org. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That number is 855 450 free you can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind here on this live edition of Free Talk Live. Also, you can use uh, our Skype line, I guess the, that's what we call it, Skype line, or, uh, call us on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. You just send us a contact request, and we'll approve it probably within 10 minutes, and then you can call us and usually sound better. So that's LRN, as in Liberty Radio Network, dot FM, as in Frequency Modulation. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. 855 free. There's a project going on in uh, the south of Chile called Fort Galt. What they're doing is, is they're building a building, uh, you know, kind of like a resort, kind of like complex, kind of like a condominium. Um, it has very small units. It's going to be built by Benson Woods, so you know it's going to be really awesome. Um, they've got a big name. It's going to have really small units, um, you know, on up to sort of general uh, sized units that you can buy into and uh, have use of their amenities like a maker space full of tools, a restaurant, a bunch of places to relax and socialize. The idea is to sort of make a liberty enclave down in South America. I'd war- I'd remind you that in Chile it's summer when it's winter up here in the northern hemisphere. So if you have the ability to sort of move around um, and continue to make your money over the internet or something like this, it sounds like a really neat project. Uh, go check them out at fortgalt.com. I think it sounds pretty cool. FortGalt.com to find out more. So, Cantwell, we were um, apparently you had some article regarding a uh, a woman who wanted to have equal. It, was it she she wasn't able to work and fulfill the duties because she was pregnant, but 
wanted to have equal pay or something? So it's it's I think it goes towards this whole gender pay gap nonsense that you hear people screaming about, but it's not it's not directly related to that. So there's a there is a case the Supreme Court on Wednesday uh, resurrected a woman's pregnancy discrimination claim against UPS, sending the case back to a lower court. This is a story in CNN. Uh, and so Peggy Young is a, a former driver for UPS, and she claimed that the package company uh, violated her rights under the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, and now will have a, a chance to prove her case in court. Okay. Uh, uh, in the majority opinion by Justice Stephen Breyer, five justices concluded that Young can, quote, create a genuine issue of material fact as to whether a significant burden exists by providing evidence that the employer accommodates a large percentage of non-pregnant workers while failing to accommodate a large percentage of pregnant workers. And okay, so- now that's interesting. So if an employer accommodates uh, other people that are sort of ill, um, then should they accommodate uh, people that are pregnant? And right. That's, that's an interesting question. I hadn't considered it in that light. Yeah, so the idea being that so if somebody, uh, you know, is uh, injured on the job or, or something to that effect. Or, well, injured on the job might be different than likely she did not become pregnant on the job. Well, you know, things happen at work, right? Indeed. Uh, but uh, but we don't, I, that is not explained in the article where exactly she got pregnant. I would love to hear the details. <laughs> I, maybe if they could, like, provide me with a video or something, that might be fascinating. And I hope that it gets presented as evidence in court. But uh, I suspect you will not get your wish. Well, un- that's unfortunate. Generally, uh, that's the case, isn't it? Uh, no, yeah. Mo- most of my wishes do not come true, quite <laughs> unfortunately. And that's so weird because I'm like this privileged, entitled white male. Uh, but so. Uh, in any case, yeah, they're saying that so because there's a, a, a certain number of circumstances where somebody at UPS can re, uh, request, uh, quote, light duty work, uh, that since she was uh, instructed by her doctor that she shouldn't be lifting more than 20 pounds during some portion of her pregnancy, she made this request to her employer. And her re- employer said, no, this is not one of the circumstances under which we provide such accommodations. Okay. Now, look, if you are in a condition that you cannot lift more than 20 pounds, then perhaps you should not be working for a shipping company. Yeah, I would agree with you. The um, So the concern I would have is that uh, if they're providing light duty work to people who hurt themselves off duty or something like that, if, there's, if there is a provision for people who are you know become for whatever reason unable to do a certain amount of lifting for a short period of time uh, in their lives because of something that happened off duty then i feel like pregnancy would fit into that category i mean if you describe pregnancy as you know the, uh, the uh, an illness a condition a medical condition caused by a foreign body entering your body um, and creating say a parasitic growth uh, that uh, lasts about nine months I mean you know it would be hard to argue this uh, then people that have injuries and illnesses that last this period of time that get the same sort of uh, you know that would be fair if somebody else gets some kind of in, in, injury that goes on that t- period of time. My wife was up on the ladder at Bed Bath and Beyond the day before my son was born, getting down like toasters for, uh, um, you know, how fascinating would it have been if her water broke right there? Yeah, it would be funny. <laughs> create a big, create a big problem. <laughs> I think there's some that, kind of that would con- have happened in the beyond section, I guess. I think it would definitely be beyond. I think they have some kind of control over it at that point, but not like a total control. Like you could hold on for a couple of seconds, kind of thing. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I just, you get to climb it down the ladder and be like, "Hey guys, I was going to get your toaster, but my water is about to break." Having so I- never been a woman and never having been pregnant, I probably shouldn't be speaking on this. Uh, but I'm just, you know, things I've sort of gleaned from the internet. Well, the, the circumstances of this. Uh, According to the story in CNN, she was told that UPS only provided uh, accommodations to three categories of job workers, those who had been injured on the job, those who lost their Department of Transportation certification, and those who have a disability as defined by the Americans with Disabilities Act. Okay. So pregnancy, ladies and gentlemen, is not a disability. It's not something that uh, generally is visited upon you against your will, no. right? Usually, and yes, there are some rare circumstances that this does happen, that you were forced into pregnancy and there are options available there. Uh, but the, uh, the, 
generally speaking, she's not claiming that she was raped or this was uh, visited upon her unwillingly. She was not uh, the Virgin Mary. Uh, she got pregnant uh, because she was having sex. And so if you have sex and you get pregnant, this is uh, a, an activity that you decided to uh, engage in uh, and, and put yourself in a condition that made you unable to do your job. Not dissimilar to if I decide to stay up drinking all night and then I show up for work with a hangover, I have made a decision to make myself sick. I did not show up for work ill Right, I don't get to call in sick to work and and uh, get pay, paid uh, a sick day because uh, because I have a, a hangover. Now people obviously do this and defraud their employers, but uh, it's not something that is usually uh, smiled upon by your employer. That if you if you create a condition where you are unable to do your job and then you show up for work and you're unable to do your job, that your employer is like, well, I'm just so concerned about your well being, so I'm going to let you do something else. Now you may have a female employee that's so good that you want to work around this uh condition yeah um you know that makes perfectly good sense to me and um but i mean also pregnancy affects men's work too right like so some guys will you know have to go to have to take maybe their wife's in a condition that they can't drive themselves to the hospital um you know or to the doctor's office for checkups and things like that so the guy will have to take off um and if the company I, I mean, I see them, as long as they treat people sort of fairly and equitably, I, I guess I wouldn't have a particular problem with it. Um, as long as everybody gets treated. I, I Right. I wouldn't want people treated differently based on their gender. But if a medical condition is something that, you know, like a medical condition like pregnancy is something you choose to nominally to some extent, then why is I why should I as an employer have to deal with that necessarily. Well, right. And then other people basically, uh, you know, have to have to pick up the slack. And and this is an instance where it does make sense to treat people differently because of their gender, because men cannot get pregnant. Men and women are not the same. They are very, very different animals. And uh, and, and to, to pretend that they should all be treated equally is, is absurd. Well, um... I mean, some women can't get pregnant. They have had tubal ligations or whatever. So why should they be treated any differently than a man? 855-450-FREE. You can answer that question. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins, but did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoin by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. There's a man named Dr. Joel Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor, both a veterinarian and naturopathic physician. Doc asks, why does the United States spend more money on health care by far and still rank 50th in health and longevity worldwide? He believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, take charge of their health, and attain optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic prescription drugs that lead to side effects and more toxic prescription drugs. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the big government, big pharma, and big insurance manipulation of our health care system. I'm George Dory, and I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care. Visit criticalhealthnews.com and listen to Dr. Wallach's Deadly Recipes Lecture. It makes a lot of sense, and I urge you to join our Critical Health News team. Go to criticalhealthnews.com. That's criticalhealthnews.com. 
So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country that, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, a great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-453-free. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in, talk about whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM on Skype. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. Go check out shop.freetalklive.com. Do your online shopping there. It helps us out immensely because, well, you know, you, when you do your online shopping, you'll get the same prices, the same service if you do your shopping through shop.freetalklive.com. Amazon is probably our biggest uh, retailer there. And you, you we'll get a little cut. So you get the same price, same service. We get a little cut of it. And uh, that makes it easier for us because, you know, Free Talk Live, we take positions that might not be entirely popular um, on in the world. So uh, when we have our listeners use shop.freetalklive.com, it helps us. So uh, we are talking about the situation with this gal uh, at UPS who apparently wanted light duty because she was pregnant. Um, her doctor ordered her to have that. UPS says, uh, yeah, we don't really give people uh, light duty for reasons other than having been hurt on the job, uh, having uh, a disability. And uh, what was the, the last reason? Do you remember that one? Uh, the, it was uh, if you're hurt on the job, if you have a disability as described by the Americans with Disabilities Act, or if you lose your certification from the Department of Transportation. You're a drunk. Uh, I don't I don't know that that's why, but uh, <laughs> I, I suspect that if you were a drunk that you might lose your uh, Department of Transportation certification. Now, yeah. uh, I don't. I have no idea how you lose your Department of Transportation certification, but I'm certain that the DOT frowns upon drunk driving. Uh, so that that would stand to reason. Uh, and UPS said that its policy complied with the Pregnancy Discrimination Act. I didn't even know there was such a thing, which is just lunacy, and that it was a pregnancy-neutral policy. But Young sued, citing a section of the PDA that states employers must treat pregnant employees the same as others uh, similar in their ability or inability to work. Young uh, argued that because UPS did offer light accommodation to some employees who are similarly situated, it must offer her the same accommodation. And again, I say, you you are not similarly situated. A person who is injured on the job, uh, a person who 
Uh, right, it's not similarly situated. That's that's for the case. A, a person who is injured on the job, a person who has an, a disability as identified by the Americans with Disabilities Act, unless they unless they voluntarily chopped off their leg and found themselves, you know, in 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 that situation, uh, is not the same thing. You made a choice. You had sex. You got pregnant, and then you showed up to work and said, "Now, uh, now, let other people do the heavy lifting." Well, let me ask you this, Cantwell. Um, I think that. Uh, you know, here in the, the the liberty world, we believe that employers should be able to discriminate against people for whatever reason they want to discriminate against people. Not because we think discrimination is good, but because that that's sort of somebody's right. So if I own a business and I want in my business to have nothing but uh, you know, big, strong men, maybe we lift things, right? Um, you know, or whatever, yeah. then that's something I should be able to do in my business. And actually, I would say that in that instance, that discrimination is good. That if you have a business where you need to, uh, you know, have people lifting heavy things, that it would be a very sensible policy to hire exclusively men. Likewise, if I want to open up a restaurant or a bar where uh, I am catering to uh, a, a certain demographic that would like to see scantily clad women running around serving food, then it makes a lot of sense for me to hire uh, exclusively very beautiful women. And really difficult for uh, men with hairy legs to get hired at Hooters, for instance, right? Exactly. And so I would say that discrimination is a good thing and that people who are panicking about it all the time well, I don't are think not thinking it through. necessarily a good thing. I we think that it's a right and that's all. Discrimination is neither good nor bad. It depends on the circumstance, right? That's what I so, would say. So, uh, but at the same time, like let's say, let's say that uh, I'm a, I'm an employer, and let's just say that uh, I, for some reason, just detest women, or somebody is an employer that just detests women, and they just hate women, and so uh, the job could easily be done by women, but he just hates women, and so he's not going to hire them. Well, I would say it's a good thing for him not to hire women. I would say it's that's a very good everybody. thing. I think it's a very good thing for him to act on his bias and say, I am not going to hire you because I think that the, that the women who went and worked for him would uh, not have a good time. So I would say- I had a guy like this. And frankly, <laughs> you know, he was, not, he was not a pleasant individual. I did advertising, you know, like I sold ads and uh, there was nary a woman that worked in his office because he didn't like them. And, um, you know, he said so to me while I was in his office telling ads to him. Not that he had need, particularly needed to tell me this, but he did. And I think you're right. First off, if the business is small enough, what are you going to do? How are you going to prove that this guy doesn't, you know, hire women? So what? Well, uh, the guy might tell you, sorry. I don't hire dames. Yeah, you could, know it could be what like, he said. It could be that simple. And the situation that we have here is that people are literally going to take you to the United States Supreme Court. <laughs> the United States Supreme Court. Do these people not have better things to do than to deal with these ridiculous issues? Uh, and 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 it's infuriating to me. That, uh, you know, this is a, a 6-3 decision that this, this woman is now going to sue the uh, UPS. So she they are she's going to be able to sue. That's what Yeah, the, she sued. The, the case was thrown out by a lower court. They appealed yep. all the way up to the United States Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And in a 6-3 decision, they said, no, now you can go ahead with your lawsuit. Okay. And so now it goes, now the lawsuit goes ahead. And, you know, that, of course, opens up the, 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 the can of worms for all sorts of other uh, uh, lawsuits unfortunately. And the thing, and we, we were talking earlier about the gender pay gap, and this is why one of the many reasons that there is a gender pay gap, that when these people utter these statistics that uh, women earn 77 cents on the dollar, it's like, look, uh, folks, when you are, uh, if there was a situation where an equally productive man and an equally productive woman uh, made uh, different amounts of money, then maybe this would be a subject worth talking about. That is not what happens, that you are uh, either in a position where you're going into a different field of uh, career or you're taking a bunch of years off of work because you're uh, uh, getting pregnant and having children. These are facts of life that people well, sort of have to come to grips with. The major, you know, major journalistic uh, magazines have addressed this issue of the, the the pay gap, and it's a myth largely when you're talking about. You know, when you're when you're comparing apples to apples, that this thing generally disappears. Now, what I found interesting is I was raised in a largely female home. My mother was the first field engineer. 
excuse me, I said that wrong. She was the second field engineer for General Telephone Electronics. She was a gal who was able to perform on the job and managed to get moved up in an era where, you know, an era and an area where men dominated. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd go to her work and I'd see little signs. This, she never had these up. She's not this kind of gal. But, um, you know, something to the effect of, you know, they have something that'll do the work of three men. It's called a woman, right? I remember this sign that was out there. And this may very well be true. In cert- like maybe there are, you know, maybe women are better at certain types of jobs. I don't know the answer. Certainly somebody believed it. Well, they, they certainly uh, are, are, are completely dominant in the, in the field of child care and education and in any number of different things. That they yeah. dominate certain industries. And that would tend to indicate that they might have some natural inclination towards certain things. It, it could mean that. So anyway, I think that these are um, it's sort of interesting things to look at. I, I, when you look at, for instance, education, you're talking about this dominance in education. Now, that's just true in um, the area of preschool, elementary school, high school, but it doesn't really hold true in college uh, because then you're talking about professors tend to be uh, more likely to be male. But uh, there's a story coming out of I think it's off of I've got it here on uh, BuzzFeed talking about a student who was removed from class for making uh, at a liberal arts school for making comments that made other students uncomfortable. And I wanted to hear, you know, I wanted to read this article. What does this mean? Because I think that you can be removed from class for making comments that make people uncomfortable. Yeah, certainly. I think that if you started uh, getting up in the middle of class and screaming fire, <laughs> you know, you might you might get removed. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to cut the head off of the person to my left, slowly sawing back and Forth, right, like yeah, you know, <laughs> those could be some disturbing comments when you start, you know, waving uh, your genitals around and and and, and screaming uh, sexual uh, uh, phrases. You could just be talking about it, right? Like you don't have to actually disrobe. You could just be, you know, yeah. describing in detail, right, your. Genitalia, yeah, or you whatever could, you it is could, that you, you want to do. Stand up in the middle of the class and describe last night's masturbation experience, and then and then, then that would probably get you removed from class. I think it's, that would make a lot of sense. I think, I think that that should get you removed from class. Frankly, I'm yeah. I'm for that. But some of these comments, um, they kind of go along this line of what we're talking about here. Um, this uh, this gentleman made some comments that we've made on the air here on Free Talk Live. He got kicked out of class for it. 855-450-3733. You can call in 855-450-FREE, Free Talk Live, or LRN.FM on Skype. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with LSProtection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. By now, you heard about Bitcoins. But did you know that over 65,000 businesses accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Because at BidBit.co, you can receive Bitcoin by selling your personal items or business products. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products quickly, easily, and securely at BidBit.co. That's B-I-D, B-I-T dot C-O, BidBit.co. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,194, up $4. Silver opened at $17.01, up $0.01. Cent. And Bitcoin is trading around $255.65. Today's precious metal prices are brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In the news... Two lawsuits have been filed against the FCC's net neutrality rules. U.S. Telecom, a trade association of broadband providers, and Alamo Broadband, a small Texas-based ISP, are asking the courts to review the rules. Alamo has asked the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, while U.S. Telecom is appealing in the D.C. Circuit. Both organizations are asking for a review based on what they say is arbitrary, capricious, and an abuse of discretion, as well as a violation of constitutional rights. The Chicago Police Department has spent more than $120,000 in six months to fight a lawsuit around the department's use of Stingray surveillance tools. Chicago resident Freddie Martinez is suing the city for what he calls unlawful surveillance. The Stingrays are a brand name of cell site simulators, a device which tricks cell phones into thinking it's a cell tower and gathers up sensitive data. Chicago police say the device has only been used to catch criminals and refuses to release details of how they use the new technology. The Chicago PD and other law enforcement agencies signed non-disclosure agreements with Harris Corporation for the use of Stingray surveillance. This has created a dangerous situation where police are often unwilling to speak freely about how the tools are being deployed. France's Prime Minister Manuel Valls has proposed a new bill that would increase surveillance and grant French intelligence services greatly expanded powers. The anti-terrorism bill would allow the government to spy on digital communications or anyone they believe is linked to terrorism without judicial approval. The bill would also require ISPs and phone companies to hand over customers' data to the government, who could then hold recordings for a month and metadata for five years. Intelligence agencies could also place cameras and recording devices in the homes of suspected terrorists. Ball said the bill would not lead to mass surveillance, stating this is not a French Patriot Act. The bill will be debated in the National Assembly from April 13th. Looking to promote your business or cause to tens of thousands of loyal listeners? Well, for a limited time only, the Liberty Beat is offering you the chance to say big while spreading your message. It's simple. Just sign up for three months of advertising and get your fourth month free. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. Just visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise and use coupon code GCN in the Describe Your Company section. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. One of Pakistan's top advisors is calling for short-range tactical nuclear weapons as a deterrent to aggression from India. Khalid Kidwai said an increase in tactical weapons would help make nuclear war less likely between the two nations. He also rejected concerns that Pakistan's nuclear arsenal was vulnerable to theft by the Islamic State and other extremists. Pakistan and India are long warring rivals who have been engaged in an arms race for years. The indigenous peoples of the Putumayo region of Colombia continue to protest against planned mining operations that threaten their way of life. As recently as March 13th, the communities took part in cultural marches and sit-ins at the entrance of the Ministry of the Interior. The people of Putumayo are opposing companies such as Anglo-American, who have been awarded contracts by the Colombian government, which will allow for the extraction of copper on the banks of the upper Putumayo River. The governments and corporations ignore the pleas of the indigenous communities, depriving them of their rights in their own territories. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Join scores of Bitcoin experts and enthusiasts from around the world for networking, talks, and a million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Tickets are on sale now at texasbitcoinconference.com. Use coupon code LIBERTYBEAT for $25 off your ticket. That's coupon code LIBERTYBEAT. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. 
reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Tensions in Washington, D.C. reached a new high yesterday as several dozen members of Congress took a class of visiting school children hostage, barricaded themselves inside the Capitol Rotunda, and demanded $12 trillion in cash. The children were rounded up at gunpoint, whereupon the House Speaker informed negotiators that one child would die every hour unless their demands were met. Here now, a brief video one of the students was able to send out from inside the Capitol. Historians across the country politely reminded Americans this week to quickly check and see what has happened in the past before making any big decisions. Just take any book with history in it and then quickly skim through it to see what decisions in the past turned out to be bad. And then once you've pinpointed them, simply don't make those same decisions again. Because if a bad thing happened again, you see, that would be very bad indeed, wouldn't it? This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind here. This is the final hour of Free Talk Live, the 38th most important talk show in the nation. We just got the Talkers Magazine's Heavy 100 list out today, and Free Talk Live has moved up the charts yet again. Is it is it measured by the weight of the hosts? <laughs> Sadly, the weight of this host has gone up over the course of the last year. Um, it uh, do, the, do the little carb thing, dude. I dropped like forty five pounds, man. Yeah, just stop eating carbs. Yeah, just stop with the carbs. Just eat fat and protein, and it, uh, and you will lose weight. Pizza, you know, like I really like pizza. I haven't had pizza in months. And I want you so badly. <laughs> I suppose if you, I could give up pizza for a limited period of time and then have uh, like a cheat day or something. I've heard about those things. But yeah, I, I do need to lose some weight. I still haven't got out of my 36s. I understand there are a lot of people out there that are like, 36s? You jerk. You're not fat. <laughs> okay, I hope you die. Yeah, right? I... I long for the days of the 36s <laughs> <laughs> so but i mean you know for me it makes it no uh you know it's, it's it's no great thing but we have moved up the the charts of the uh heavy hundred throughout the years and we're we're excited about that it's nice to be to, to go from 42 i like the number 42 because it's uh the life uh, the meaning of life the universe and everything 42 is the meaning of life yeah yeah apparently you're not a fan of hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy I've never uh, read. It. No, so that's it. It's uh, it, it's sort of a nonsense answer, right? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's very clever. Anyway, we were forty two. We moved up to thirty eight, and that's cool. And uh, we've we've really moved up the charts since two thousand and nine. We started out at number ninety seven. Um, so and your your Facebook has been booming too. I see you post the screenshots of that to the Amp Group, which you can get into for just five bucks a month. And that's it's a right. Total blast. Amp free talk live. Dot com. Let's go to, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this name, so I'm not gonna. Calling in from Massachusetts. Who is this? Hello? Hi, what's your name? Ramel. Ramel? Yes. Welcome to uh, Free Talk Live. Ramel, what's on your mind? Thank you, Mark. Um, I want to talk about, like, textbooks and, like, specifically, like, something like a person like Sir Isaac Newton or, like, um, uh, someone like Leonardo da Vinci or all the other great geniuses in the world. But then we have like um, elementary school, junior high school, and then high school textbooks. And each and every year, it pretty much, you know, put out a new textbook. But yet, when you look at something like math, the order of operation in like math, it doesn't change. And so each and every year, they put out these new textbooks and basically they just feeding us an illusion that they're giving, you know, kids an education. However, you know, what's really happening is that that's the money-making monopoly of these big, you know, publishing companies to hold everyone in a box and to not really let us, you know, truly 
become our own geniuses. Yeah, well, that's that's state-run academia for you. And I'll just say I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. At first, I thought he said sex books, and I thought that was going to be really interesting. And he talked about textbooks. Oh. And, and <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just want to make the reference. But, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a scam uh, put on by uh, government-run and, uh, and in the case of uh, higher education, government-subsidized, uh, where – they're just throwing these costs completely out of control, and they're doing it on purpose. Well, I wouldn't claim that uh, you know that a a school shouldn't have textbooks, but I would claim that, for instance, algebra hasn't changed much since I was a kid. So perhaps we only need new textbooks, say, say every ten years or something like that, rather than every year. In college, they really get these kids on things um, with you know a new a new version of the textbook every year for no good reason at all, uh, costing $150 sometimes, uh, ridiculous amounts of money. Exactly. It's it's completely ridiculous what goes on with the with, with with the textbooks, that they're they're creating a new textbook for the sake of making a new textbook and basically compelling you to buy it. Uh, and in the case of, you know, public education, that it, it, this is happening and it's being, uh, you know, paid for with tax dollars and there's absolutely no purpose to it whatsoever. And why do we actually need a textbook in the first place? Like, okay, I want to hear this. It's 2015. What do we need hundreds of pages of paper for uh, uh, that for the for the cost of one of these textbooks you could buy a tablet and, and put all of the information on that tablet. Because the kids will break those too, I would think would be the first thing. Well, they can also, you know, set their books on fire and spill beer on them, but we expect <laughs> them to figure this out, right? Not, not like I never did it. Uh, I think that, you know, all this really comes down to the problem of, uh, you know, government schools. Um, you know, the people being forced to pay for an organization that basically has a monopoly. That uh, Go ahead, Ramel. Uh, to cut it, yeah, um, and doesn't it, you know, kind of um, go into like with these things like charter schools and homeschooling, and like, you know, if you're homeschooled, it's like you're gonna get and you're gonna know the order of operation, in the, especially math, because once you mess up the order of operation, I'm talking when you get to high levels of math, like you said, algebra, obviously, like calculus and etc. And um, just simply, like I wasn't taught like calculus, a simple definition. It's the study of things incontestably small and infinitely big. And then that's just a simple, you know, way of putting it. But you know you know what I'm saying, where there's the operation and each and every day they should be trying to get, you know, one concept through and you know that kids are going to, you know, not get a concept that's gonna take, you know, a week or two or whatever to get it. But then Well I don't think they get it anyway. I watch I look at Facebook on a relatively regular basis and it seems like if you scroll enough you'll find a meme where somebody's asking you a math question that involves the order of operations. And I hate those by the way. Like what really Facebook like this is what it's come down to. Like it's not bad enough that you're posting pictures of your breakfast now you're giving me math homework. But the people uh, people you you look at the answers and they're getting them wrong constantly. I I was taught in ninth grade in Algebra 1 in Mr. Turner's class, P uh, pretty please my dear Aunt Sally. And, you know, it stuck with me. Um, it's powers and uh, parentheses, um, multiplication and div division, um, uh, Aunt Sally is addition and subtraction. So it basically goes in, in that way. Right. And if you are if you have to come up with a, uh, a new textbook to explain that to somebody, uh, it doesn't... Uh, I mean, look, if somebody comes up with a better way to say it, fine, right? But uh, I, I have a hard time believing that there's a necessity— It doesn't need to be better for if I can remember one, it. <laughs> —for a new one every year, right? Uh, uh, I mean, you could have a different way of wording something to explain something better, I would say, that we probably uh, word uh, the uh, what I think are very simple concepts of liberty perhaps better than some podcasts out there, right? I mean, so the, you know, people might have a better way of uh, explaining something to somebody. But uh, frankly, if you're coming up with a new order of— of operations if you're coming up with new ways to solve math problems your textbook probably isn't very good well that, that's what i mean where like that's the whole point it's like they they're not giving you the information that's or history yeah. how many how many like uh, let's let's make a new history book like did the history change <laughs> <laughs> like, why do I have? Why do I need a history book for 2015? Right, right. Maybe that's ridiculous. The, maybe you oh, need well, the I'll 90s addendum, but that's really about it, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They want to leave out history. And they, here's a quick question. Like, I did. I called in Mark, and I did. I'm in the process of um, 
uploading the video. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. I, I, um, I'm still focusing on how you pronounce my name and then realize that you are from Mass. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I called in the other day, and um, I was talking about The Rock, and um, you were like, yeah, go buy The Rock there. And I'm in the process ah. of uploading another video. And I would like you to take a closer look at it, not right now, but... Um, Send say, me an email at marketfreetalklive.com. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I agreed with you as far as that rock goes. I think that that thing might be historic. Rocks. Anyway, appreciate the call, Ramel. 855-450-FREE. Rock Talk Live. <laughs> well, I, I, you're going to admit that some rocks are more significant than other rocks. Yeah, I've, I've heard that some rocks were uh, in, embarked on insane marketing campaigns to make them requirements for marriage. <laughs> I'm talking about bigger ones than that, but Plymouth Rock is a pretty famous rock, right? Like, that might be a historic thing. Yeah, I I mean, it's a scam, but there you go. it's historic, all right. 855-450-3733. It's 855-453, Free Talk Live. So who else will you meet at the Get Prepared Expo? For starters, from Republic Broadcasting, John Moore and John Statmiller. From GCN, Aaron and Brad Dakins, Joyce Riley, and me, Vincent Finelli. Joining us are the instructors whom you've learned to trust. Surgeon of the Year, Dr. Norman Shealy. Engineer, Matt Stein. The real Fox Mulder of the X-Files, Dr. Richard Allen Miller. Author and analyst, Captain John Reagan. Your counter-terrorist from Central America, Mike Ma, dental center owner and my dentist, Dr. Howard Shane, radiation instructor, Craig Douglas, author and survivalist, Rich Sheban, author, Judy Dollarheit, cancer center owner from Mexico, Dr. Patrick Vickers, bug out expert and pilot, Captain Bill Sermo, beekeeper, Jeff Maddox, seedsman, Mike Knox, author, Gayla Pruitt, author, Harry Cooper, food expert, Joe Acapinti, and Bill Whaley, the junk man, March 27, 28, and 29. Get preparedexpo.com, the largest preparedness and survival expo in the USA. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You know how annoying it is when someone keeps stopping mid-sentence as though he or she were asking you a series of questions? Avoid doing that. It sounds unnervingly tentative, and it imposes upon the listener to help you complete the thought. And if you're a job seeker, this alone could be a deal killer. An effective communicator sounds more confident. Complete the thought. Avoid making the listener impatient. With money and attention so scarce now, Effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter, rather than blending into the blah, 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 will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Survivalspeech.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind here on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. We, uh, I teased a story a little earlier, and I think we should, uh, should talk about it here. It's about a kid who is going to read college, and he's been kicked out of class for comments that made people uncomfortable. Well, it's probably something terrible. Like, he probably... Said something really, really bad, right? Well, we'll see here in just one second, but I want to tell you about where we're going to be starting on, well, st- sort of starting on Friday. The, it's the Texas Bitcoin Conference. They're, they have a sort of mixer the night before on uh, Friday, um, so it's Wednesday now. It's just going to be a couple of days. And then on Saturday and Sunday, they're going to have the main event. They're going to have great speakers like Sambala Nerg, uh, that's the architect of uh, IBM's blockchain technology, and George Gilder, this is, uh, he's a famous investor, economist, and author, and quite a few Bitcoin luminaries, including Anthony DiOrio, Charlie Shrim, Robert Murphy, uh, Jason King, David Johnston, just to name a few. Of course, Free Talk Live is going to be there, and I think what most importantly is the second annual Million Dollar Bitcoin 2.0 Hackathon. This is a hackathon where they give away a million bucks to the uh, very best idea. That means there's going to be a lot of good ideas, um, and people are going to be trying very hard to win. TexasBitcoinConference.com. I think you can still get tickets. If you use coupon code FTL, it's 125 bucks. Cheap. Cheap. TexasBitcoinConference.com. Come and uh, check it out. We're going to be there. We'd love to see you. So, this is coming from BuzzFeed. Uh, Reed College, a small liberal arts school in Portland, Oregon, attracts students who want to speak their mind, but when Jeremiah True wouldn't stop talking about his controversial opinions on sexual assault in his uh, required freshman humanities course, his professor banned him from the discussion segment of the class for the remainder of the segment. Ses- uh, semester, excuse me. The 19-year-old told BuzzFeed News that his professor, Pancho Savary, warned him repeatedly that his views made his classmates uncomfortable before he told him on March the 14th in an email that he was no longer welcome to participate in the conference section of his Humanities 110 lecture uh, seminar class. Please know that it was a difficult decision for me to make and one that I have never made before. Nevertheless, in light of the serious stress you have caused your classmates, I feel that I have no other choice, he wrote in the email. True, whose Facebook page says he studies how to annoy people at Reed, uh, takes pride in challenging his classmates' opinions. Nothing wrong with somebody who's going to challenge your opinions, right? Right. Not nothing wrong with challenging opinions. I mean, it's interesting. I, I, I'm interested to hear what his views on sexual assault are. I mean, if he was going in there and saying, "Hey, rape is awesome. We should all engage in this behavior," like I could see him getting kicked out of class for that. True said he sparred with his classmates over discussion topics related to ancient Greece and Rome, such as the patriarchal belief that logic is more important than emotion patriarchal so logic being more important than emotion is Is a a patriarchal patriarchal belief belief. it's a belief of people that value logic over emotion well do you see how that might be considered patriarchal well i i can he's kicked out for making people feel bad 
Well, I can <laughs> I can see why people see that as patriarchal, and I think that it speaks to the downfall of human society that uh, we, we're we're being put in a position. Where I was watching a very interesting Stefan Molyneux video earlier today, and he was talking about education. He talks about uh, uh, different schools of thought where, on one side, the evidence bends to the theory, and on the other side, the theory bends to the evidence. Yeah. And I'm a firm believer in the theory bending to the evidence, because if you've got proof of something, if something is proven factually incorrect, then you should probably change your opinion. And other people don't feel that way. They feel that they need to go out and find evidence to support their feelings. And that's destructive because when you make decisions based upon bad evidence, you have bad outcomes. Yeah. So, um, A, this is crazy. Okay. So, anyway, um, and his analysis of Lucretia's rape. I'm not familiar with this, but I probably should be. Um, it was uh, questioning the widely shared and often debated statistic that one in five women in college are sexually assaulted. Uh, I don't know why that statistic is still debated because it's complete nonsense. It's just factually incorrect. I, well, I, I don't know much about it, but um, I, what I find terms like sexually assaulted you know, use sometimes these terms can be massaged. You know, like well, of course, yeah. If you know, has has it has one in five women in, on a sexu- on a uh, college campus been made to feel uncomfortable? Probably, I would say that probably five in five women on a college campus have been made to feel uncomfortable at yep. some point, yep. and that's not assault. <laughs> and that's why I'm so sick of these people who uh, go and do ridiculous things to the English language. It's 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 infuriating. You make words mean nothing, uh, then, and then don't be surprised when uh, when, we're, when we're having bad outcomes because we can't communicate because you people are mutilating the language. Um, you know, I mean, I think that uh, to some extent you have to agree on the language before we start, and that's really the difficulty with uh, sort of statistics, especially statistics like this, is I'm sure – one in five women have had their fanny pinched or something like that. And I'm not trying to say, I've had mine. I've been in a club, and I've had women grab my crotch from the front. Uh, so, I mean, I get where we're coming from here, and I do understand that I'm stronger than them, so I'm not going to feel as threatened as perhaps they might. But I just want to make sure that we're clear that fanny pinching isn't the same as having your face bludgeoned with a rock while you're being raped. Like, these are different things. And this is what this young man said. He says it serves it doesn't serve actual rape victims to overinflate numbers. Right? Like... These people are downplaying the seriousness of the violent crime of uh, uh, of uh, taking a woman against her will. You know, uh, they 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 go into this whole this rape culture thing as if it's just socially acceptable to drag a woman behind a dumpster and and pound on her while she screams for help. That's not the world that you live in. And when you say that it is, you you downplay the seriousness of what's actually happening to people. He says his ter- his rejection of the term rape culture is what led him to getting banned oh I, of course that got me, me kicked off of a college campus i'm critical of the idea of rape culture because it doesn't exist he wrote in a lengthy email to uh, savory explaining his perspectives that he um has also posted online we live in a society that hates rape but it's also hasn't optimized the best way to handle rape changing the legal definition to rape is a sl- slippery slope if sexual assault becomes uh qualified as rape what happens next what happens when we can what else will happen when we can legally redefine um what becomes rape why would we want to inflate the numbers of rape in our society and the reason that you do that is because you're a feminist psychopath who wants to demonize masculinity and the male gender that's why you do it because you say rape is a crime that men commit and all men are rapists and all sex is rape and all the lunatic things that we hear coming out of these people's mouths and uh, 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 spewing this nonsense it's 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 misandry it is it is absolutely it's it's worse than uh, any number of examples Eight fifty five four fifty free. It's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free talk live.
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Free Talk Live. This was the quote from the DEA's paperwork. Only products that were primarily intended or designed for use in injecting, ingesting, inhaling, or otherwise introducing marijuana and other controlled substances into the the human body. Injects marijuana. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's how out of touch these people are. They're trying to make it look like marijuana users are strung out heroin junkies. (laughs) Right. And it's just not true. No. Look, if you were to ever even try. To put <laughs> plant material mm. in a syringe and inject that into your veins. It's going to go poorly for it's you. It's going to work <laughs> once. <laughs> You're going to get high one last time if you even <laughs> if you even make it to that point. Yeah, that's I mean, not a good idea. Never no. in the history of marijuana consumption has anyone ever injected it into their veins. Yeah, kids don't try that at home. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at Africa.LRN.FM. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. Africa.LRN.FM. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind. This live edition of Free Talk Live. Use lrn.fm if uh, that's what you prefer. Of course, it has to be open, and it's not right now. <laughs> 855-450-FREE. We're talking about the story out of uh, from BuzzFeed.com of this kid who has been banned from his... Uh, humanities class, the discussion portion of his humanities class. What is a humanities class? Do you know? I don't know. I mean, it sounds like a 
largely useless course. Yeah, it sounds to me like one of these things that like somebody goes and takes and then gets out of college and it's like, why can't I get a job? I went, I took a humanities class. Well, I mean, uh, the I don't have a problem with uh, you know classes about literature and stuff like that um, as sort of a general education if that's what people want to have. I do think, however. Um, that you can probably get a more focused education that you will remember better simply by studying on the internet or going to work for a company in many cases. It sounds to me like uh, this kid did some studying because he sounds like he's uh, he sounds like he's on point. He doubts this rape culture garbage. He thinks that uh, favoring uh, logic over emotion is uh, not necessarily male oppression of women. Uh, it sounds like this guy's pretty smart. Now, um... Okay, so this rape culture is a pervasive, this this idea of rape culture is pretty pervasive. Um, I tend to think if an idea is pervasive that it may have some merit. No one has called in and ever explained it to me in a fashion that I can sort of internalize. To me, what I see rape culture as is simply, right, you're talking about the, I think the best example that I've heard so far is the Steubenville rape case, right? This is a uh, some uh, high school kids, high school boys that were on the football team, raped a girl who was from like out of town or something like that, and the the, the locals, basically the school and the, the government kind of pushed it under the rug because they couldn't find enough evidence, that kind of thing. And you've got to consider this is in a world where right after the Duke lacrosse rape uh, situation, not right after, but, you know, after that, you find out that, oh, yeah, maybe we can have a lynch mob mentality and go after, uh, you know, young men. So, I mean, I you got to look at it in that light, and I think that's a fair light to look at it. But... Uh, you know, I mean, it's really got to stink to get raped and then not have the authorities come after you. There's a story that just came out recently of an 11-year-old girl who got raped and got thrown in jail for basically reporting it because she wasn't very good at talking about what happened. She's 11. Um, so there's that one side of it. But the other side of it is is that if this was a situation of assault and it was a young man from out of town that got beaten up by a bunch of football players, do you think it would have been addressed any other way? Well, that's the thing. It's sort of, you know, the way a criminal justice system is supposed to function is that you don't put people in prison unless you've got evidence, you know. Uh, uh, and, and unfortunately, so many people want to change that. And this is the logic. But that's not going to make anything better, right? Like, that's only going to make it worse for everybody if we throw people in jail without having probable cause and stuff like that. Like, there's an accusation. The accusation's terrible because it was rape. Throwing somebody in jail because of the, a terrible accusation isn't going to make the world better. But I, here's the point that I want to make is, is that it's not that I disbelieve the idea of rape culture. It's that I believe that it is a lesser included aspect of violence culture. That... The violence that exists in the world is largely perpetrated against men, not women, and that rape is somehow exalted or the opposite of exalted among crimes, and that somehow we're to to make it to, to believe that it's you know somehow worse. You know, the murderers in the world, it, it's not called a violence culture because men are and and women aren't vilified because men tend to be killed. Men tend to do the killing too, but. What does that have to do? What am I with a Y chromosome? How am I related to that? How does the patriarchy spring from me? Like, I just don't get these things. And somebody needs to explain them better than they've explained them to me because I just don't get it. But they are not going to explain it because it doesn't have an explanation. They okay? clearly don't want to explain it to this kid. They, they, <laughs> they can't have their ideas challenged. And this is what Dalek was talking about when he called in. If you challenge them... They do not stand up to the challenge. They do not debate you. They do not have an argument. They expel you. They say, no, we're not going to have this conversation because you are obligated to agree with me because I feel as though I am right. I think that's what it, that's so far. I'm not going to assume that you're correct on that, but so I'm I'm left with few conclusions besides what you're saying. Well, literally, literally, what you, you ever hear this term mansplain? Right. Yes. They, these women they bring up or these feminists that are even men. Right. They bring up these ridiculous, absurd points. You tell them why their point is complete nonsense. And they call that mansplaining. And that is uh, sexism to them. It's sick. It's anti-reason. Well, th Brett, that's oh, you're going to have to explain. Like, that's true. Like, if the ideas of logic are patriarchal to the ideas of emotion, then guilty. OK. 
then uh, that okay, you're never going to have me on your side because you can't address things via logic. If if logic is patriarchy, then bring on the patriarchy, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm sick of this nonsense. If if you have to run to a point like that, it's just basically saying I don't care about reason, I care about emotion, and it it, it destroys your point. Let's go to let's go to Tommy in Glasgow. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live. Ah, uh, they may take her lies, but they'll never take her, Chris Cantwell. <laughs> <laughs> they, they might just take me, buddy. They've taken me before. I've been locked up twice, man. Don't, 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 uh, do, don't jinx me. <laughs> Aliens, is that, or is that just a polis? What? Was that English? Was that? Is that was that aliens that took you? Or was that the police? Oh, it was the police. The police. Uh, I haven't been t- abducted by aliens just yet, but uh, I'll, I'll make sure and talk about it on the show. If you it look happens. like you could take a good probing. <laughs> you've, you've not t- you've not taken enough drugs then. You're not t- you're not taking the right ones then. But listen, the, the the point I would like to make it was something that you said not in this show, Chris, but it was something uh, about a week ago. You mentioned about Greece. Yeah. Uh, and and you and you said I, I I can't remember the exact quote, but it, it never offended me. But I just wanted to take issue with it uh, regarding Greece, how they brought. I think it was regarding how they they brought this upon themselves or what they're doing. I mean, are you fully up to speed with the full situation and what has happened in Greece just now? I I don't know if something came out in the news today. I understand that basically Greece is uh, 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 the 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 voters of Greece tend to vote left, and that that creates havoc on an economy. Ah, see, right, okay. Now we'll go we'll go on that basis. You say vote left, and they voted in uh, what you would call anti-austerity government and yeah. that is a government who has now in place you would call leftist but the people have voted them in so that's Aren't a democratic describing themselves by the way as marxist like the guy that's uh yeah you know, Syriza, the guy. Syriza uh, is, is well, a hold, on, Greek. If they call, hold on if they call themselves alien then they come from outer space if the people in that uh, land who make out the vote vote them in then shouldn't that government be allowed to to go about their business without sure. outside your influence now, well, that doesn't happen in this world, sadly, because of, uh, not because of your people in that country, but your government, the government of the United States of America, Pax Americana, the, the government that rules the world, the police force that can go in and undermine the will of the people. And so what is so wrong with I it was the EU the, that was telling the, uh, g- yeah, the government of yeah, Greece that they had yeah, to pay. On, 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 on that level, yeah, yeah. And on, on that level, yes. But, but uh, uh, just on the basis of what Chris's argument was, that the leftist government in Greece is causing a problem for the people. When the problem has been caused, when Goldman Sachs went in and fudged the books and said, we'll do the books and enable Greece to join this uh, giant superpower, the Deutsche Bank became, the uh, the Bundesbank became the, 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 the EU, and then countries like Greece, Spain, Italy, Ireland... The, the, the way the accounts were fudged for the, allowing them to join it, this was a major problem. And so you can't go blaming the leftist government or the people who vote in a leftist government say, oh, all the problems in Greece are happening because of the leftists. Now, the, it wasn't a leftist government, a Marxist government who was in power uh, 10, 15 years ago when Greece was frog-marched into that. The, I hear the, the music. Can the, I think, Greece can I wasn't exactly after? governed by anarcho-capitalists prior to, uh, to well, Syriza coming a, into power. That's, a, that's pushing well, it. was a it. capitalist system. It was a capitalist system. Uh, everything's so, a capitalist system, right? Yeah, well, but hold... Well, uh, yeah, can I come back on us? Yeah, can I come back? Yeah. 855 450 free. Free Talk Live, 855 450 3733. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body 
body healing itself with the aid of HB Extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit HBExtract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to HBExtract.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Who did you let down today? Your wife? Your kids? Well, how about yourself? Take a look in the mirror. If you're tired of your drug and alcohol problem, you need to fix the problem and right now before you hurt or kill yourself or worse yet, somebody else. Call the addiction specialist now at the Detox and Treatment Helpline 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have private insurance, we specialize in finding you the right treatment. When you call right now, you'll speak to a recovering addict who understands what you're going through right now. Let us help you break your addiction to drug and alcohol before it's too late. This call is completely confidential and free. So if you have private insurance, take five minutes of your time, call right now. I promise it'll change your life. 800-208-5187. 800-208-5187. 800-208-5187. Call right now. 800-208-5187. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, 855-453. It's 855 855- Five zero three seven three three. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about here. We might be able to squeeze you in in the final segment. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. I want to tell you about the AMP program real quick. We um, On Free Talk Live, we do something different than other talk shows do. It's the reason we were recently named the 38th most important talk show in, by recently, I mean today, in, in the world. And... I guess it's in the U.S. because they don't really give uh, nat- international radio guys. So in, call it in the U.S. Um, it's because what we do here on Free Talk Live is we don't take the issues from a right or left standpoint. We take them from a pro-liberty standpoint. And that makes us unique in, among radio shows. If you like that we can spread the ideas of liberty um, efficiently compared to what many other liberty organizations out there consider becoming an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. What we do is we take that money and we 
get ourselves on more radio stations. It does not go to paychecks. It does not go to parties. It doesn't go to anything like that. It goes to getting us on more radio stations. It's amp.freetalklive.com. You get some perks. There's uh, you know an amp only call in line. There's uh, the amp forum on uh, Facebook, which is really awesome. Uh, many people probably would do it just for that after you uh, get to get a chance to enjoy it. Amp.freetalklive.com. In the last segment, we were uh, we had Tommy from Glasgow call in and sort of discussing what is the problem with many of these countries in Europe, like. Uh, Ireland and uh, Greece and these sorts of things. Um, and what we had talked about on the show maybe a couple weeks ago, Cantwell, was that um, many of the policies that Greece currently has, refuses to change, are resulting in them going down the tubes financially. Tommy is taking issue with that. And uh, let's bring him back on the air. Tommy, can you hear me now? Yeah, and I'm, I'm taking issue. Yeah, I'm taking issue with that and, and also taking issue. Well, the, the issue that I'm taking, uh, you know, to blame the people who have voted for what you call a leftist. Now, I'm not a leftist or a rightist. I'm a completist. I try to see the complete picture. So I'm not going to blame any party other than the people to get the truth out. If you believe in liberty, then you have to address the truth and, and, and get this out. And, and there's people out there, I mean, Chris was talking earlier on when you phone, you know, it, it, to people who have not got the right argument, they'll they'll deflect and they'll, they'll talk about you something else, anything other than the right issue. And so the right issue to talk about and is how uh, countries in Europe, outlying, you know, the Nordic, uh, the northern countries of Germany, France, and, and Holland, out with these countries, there's people starving in Greece. And the people in Germany are saying, you know, we don't care about them. Let them starve. As long as they pay their debt to us, let them starve. That is the situation in Europe just now. In Greece, people are starving. People are suffering. The suicide rates, the, the mortality rates in well, Greece... Wait a second, Tommy. So, so, Tommy, so I, I understand that you're trying to drive home a point, but we've sort of got to have a two-way discussion here. The the yeah. You have a bad economy in Greece for a reason. People have been voting for policies that are bad for the economy, and they keep on telling themselves... And the U.S. No, isn't no, far no, behind no, them. No, on, and the, the U.S. Let, is not far behind them. That you on. have this situation... No, no, on, excuse me for a let's second, Tommy. That issue then. Real no, quick. Can I address that issue? You said there, can I address that issue? You said there, the policies that have been inflicted upon the Greece people are coming out with Greece. They're coming from Germany, who's dictating to that country. Yeah, That's now they're now they're vegetable. being dictated to because they've borrowed a bunch of money. And when you borrow no, not, money, no, it's not as simple as that. No, yeah, it's not as simple it, as actually, borrowing money. Actually, it's, no, it's not, not as complicated as you're trying to make it out to well, be. What are they doing besides no, borrowing simple. money? What are they doing besides borrowing money? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. What? If if you go to, if someone is who like they they, they called it the you know what happened there the what's the, the subprime if someone hasn't got a job and has no means to pay a loan if you give them a hundred thousand you can't really blame the person who's sitting there with not a job if he says yeah cool I'll take the hundred thousand but and, you can and, and if they won't get a job after that uh, but hold on but hold on if Greece if Greece is suddenly given billions as it was through Goldman Sachs through the through the loans and, and the money that was given and known quite well that it's not going to be able to pay it then this is predatory banking now if you walked into a bank in the UK up to about 10 years ago 15 years ago if you had a pulse they would instantly give you a loan of five, ten thousand. they would remortgage you they would give you more money in your house you could self certificate you could say whatever you earn what's the predatory aspect money. of this the, 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 See, this is what I need to know, aspect, Tommy, is there's no predatory aspect. Greece yes, continues is, yes, not to pay. And no, what they want to do, what, the, what these people, can we, can we, can we, can we drop them? I, we need to make a point here. And, let me and, ask, let, let him answer this. What is the predatory aspect? You want to drop me? You want to drop me because you can't handle the last bit? No, because you talk over yes. the hosts of the program, Tommy, and we've got very few you. minutes left I, of the program, I so I need to be able to respond to what you're saying, and you keep on saying other things. So listen you're to me for a fashion. second. Can you hang up on him, please? And then uh, you, want, you want to call into some garbage <laughs> podcast, and then I don't have to worry about commercial breaks. You can't talk over the hosts. That's not how it works. 
So Speech. now hold hold on. Please, shut Tommy. him up while I try to make a point. This is infuriating, Mark. I can't deal with this stuff. Listen, if free talk live doesn't mean that you get to call up and take a we say take over the airwaves. You don't literally get to take over the airwaves. I have to be able to make a point. So if you're Respond gonna scream to about point. predatory lending, okay, the government of Greece is borrowing money because it is spending money, and it is spending money because the people of that country keep on electing people who tell them that spending money money will increase the quality of your lives. Everything that we know about economics says that that is completely false. It has happened countless times throughout human history, and it continues to fail. And if the people there are going to continue to insist on policies that are going to destroy their economy, then I have very little sympathy for that. What, Tommy? You don't know what's going on in Greece. You do not know what's going on in Greece, my I friend. know you what's going on in Greece, I think, entire, far better you, than you do, you because you don't, you haven't made Greece. an economic you argument. You're just saying just that, the, that, the, the, the that Goldman well, Sachs is going through. There's a Nazi regime in Germany forcing people to starve in a country They're just a few hundred them to miles down the road in Greece. That is a reality. They can step out of the EU any time, can't they? people in this country. Nazi hasn't done it 60 years ago. It's still alive and well. Can't they step out of the EU anytime the they Nazis want? Nazis are responsible for the Greek no, government no, borrowing on. money that they it can't afford they, to pay. Well, there's a country, there's an example, there's a country called Iceland who's not part of the EU. That's now, true. They took the normal steps. What happens when a country uh, has to default, it's currently say defaults, and then what happens, it, it goes down the road within about six months to a year, it rebounds because inter- yeah. external investment it realizes, hey, this rate of interest is good for us to do. And so what happened, countries like Greece and Ireland are being tied to the Bundesbank to the Germans, they've been tied to a Nazi system of oppression where but they can get out of around system the neck. Of wait, 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 Tommy, look, I agree with you on Iceland. Iceland did exactly the right thing. Ireland and yeah, Greece could have done it any time they want. No, the people no, no, of no, Ireland no, and Greece Iceland, can say, I am no, sick Iceland, and tired no, of this no, EU thing. Iceland, this is what he's talking Iceland, about, Tommy. Iceland, when he says Iceland, that you're Iceland, trying Iceland. to talk over the host, that's what he's talking about right here. The people of Ireland Sorry. and the people of Greece could say... We are sick and tired of this. We're leaving the EU. As a matter of fact, they could pick up and move to Iceland if they wanted to, um, and they refused to do that. I don't understand this Nazi thing you're talking about because it looks because- to me like they have they had this flagrant spending beforehand. They went into debt. They got a big loan. They nah, continued but- flagrant spending. And then now they're upset about it. And when they had to go into austerity to pay their bills, they rioted in the street and elected a government that promised to raise minimum wages and increase spending when they didn't have the money to do it. Iceland is not in the EU. No, I didn't say it was. I'm talking about Greece. Yes. So, so, so they went in it. So Greece, all these countries are tied to the economy of Germany. So using the same interest rate. Yeah, because they're borrowing uh, the money from Germany. No, but hold on. The, the problem has been that these countries were never, should have never been allowed to go in an economic union. Britain never joined the economic union because our Chancellor Gordon Brown at the says there's five criteria. That if Hello? Hello, Tommy? Criteria, Whoa. then it can't join it. Right, so so Britain never joined it because it didn't meet the five economic criteria. The other countries, this is what happened. They fudged the economy so that they could join it. And it was never a proper economy. It was never a proper stable setup and was always prone to crash. So that's so why I'm calling it a Nazi regime. I get that. That's why I'm calling it a Nazi okay. regime. Well, that's, I don't know that that makes the Germans forced. Nazis. But this is, this is, this is what he's doing. He's I mean, calling also, it Nazism in order to distract from the issue that the Greek government spends more than it has. No, that's, that's how no. you crash your economy. That's, it's not a difficult thing but that they, if they, you they, borrow money that you you can't afford to pay back that you're going to have a bad outcome and the thing is that if you're going to if you're going to continue to do things that are going to be destructive of the economy like minimum wage laws and that sort of thing then you're going to have bad outcomes there's no two ways about it Singapore and and, and um, Hong Kong both had really crappy economies and built them out of nothing with good economic policies this still looks like bad economic policies to to me, Tommy. I do encourage you in the future to t- talk to us about this. 855 450 free, free talk live. It's 855. What am I giving out the number? Thanks so much uh, for listening to Free Talk Live. It's uh, You can check us out at freetalklive.com.
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,194, up $4. Silver opened at $17.01, up $0.01. Cent. And Bitcoin is trading around $255.65. Today's precious metal prices are brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In the news... Two lawsuits have been filed against the FCC's net neutrality rules. U.S. Telecom, a trade association of broadband providers, and Alamo Broadband, a small Texas-based ISP, are asking the courts to review the rules. Alamo has asked the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, while U.S. Telecom is appealing in the D.C. Circuit. Both organizations are asking for a review based on what they say is arbitrary, capricious, and an abuse of discretion, as well as a violation of constitutional rights. The Chicago Police Department has spent more than $120,000 in six months to fight a lawsuit around the department's use of Stingray surveillance tools. Chicago resident Freddie Martinez is suing the city for what he calls unlawful surveillance. The Stingrays are a brand name of cell site simulators, a device which tricks cell phones into thinking it's a cell tower and gathers up sensitive data. Chicago police say the device has only been used to catch criminals and refuses to release details of how they use the new technology. The Chicago PD and other law enforcement agencies signed non-disclosure agreements with Harris Corporation for the use of Stingray surveillance. This has created a dangerous situation where police are often unwilling to speak freely about how the tools are being deployed. France's Prime Minister Manuel Valls has proposed a new bill that would increase surveillance and grant French intelligence services greatly expanded powers. The anti-terrorism bill would allow the government to spy on digital communications or anyone they believe is linked to terrorism without judicial approval. The bill would also require ISPs and phone companies to hand over customers' data to the government, who could then hold recordings for a month and metadata for five years. Intelligence agencies could also place cameras and recording devices in the homes of suspected terrorists. Ball said the bill would not lead to mass surveillance, stating this is not a French Patriot Act. The bill will be debated in the National Assembly from April 13th. Looking to promote your business or cause to tens of thousands of loyal listeners? Well, for a limited time only, the Liberty Beat is offering you the chance to say big while spreading your message. It's simple. Just sign up for three months of advertising and get your fourth month free. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. 
Just visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise and use coupon code GCN in the Describe Your Company section. This is The Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. One of Pakistan's top advisors is calling for short-range tactical nuclear weapons as a deterrent to aggression from India. Khalid Kidwai said an increase in tactical weapons would help make nuclear war less likely between the two nations. He also rejected concerns that Pakistan's nuclear arsenal was vulnerable to theft by the Islamic State and other extremists. Pakistan and India are long warring rivals who have been engaged in an arms race for years. The indigenous peoples of the Putumayo region of Colombia continue to protest against planned mining operations that threaten their way of life. As recently as March 13th, the communities took part in cultural marches and sit-ins at the entrance of the Ministry of the Interior. The people of Putumayo are opposing companies such as Anglo-American, who have been awarded contracts by the Colombian government, which will allow for the extraction of copper on the banks of the upper Putumayo River. The governments and corporations ignore the pleas of the indigenous communities, depriving them of their rights in their own territories. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Join scores of Bitcoin experts and enthusiasts from around the world for networking, talks, and a million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Tickets are on sale now at texasbitcoinconference.com. Use coupon code LIBERTYBEAT for $25 off your ticket. That's coupon code LIBERTYBEAT. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Allison Fry and Peter Hartman are a long-term couple. They've been trying out an open relationship that frees them to emotionally burden and exhaust other people. We're both grown-ups. We both trust each other. It just seemed like the right time to open ourselves up to meeting other people and barraging them with our crippling emotional neediness. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still want to vent to Allison about all the anxieties I have at the office until she wishes I would just shut the f up. But sometimes you just get the urge to sap the life out of a different woman for a change. The flexible arrangement has allowed Fry and Hartman to participate in a variety of tiresome and psychologically draining one-off encounters with partners ranging from close acquaintances to total strangers. Of course there was a time when I couldn't imagine saddling anyone but Peter with my extensive emotional baggage and trust issues, but now that we've tried it. <laughs> the best part is, when we're back together, all we really want to do is drain the living shit out of each other. This is the Onion News Network. Hello, cop lockers everywhere. It's Dio with my buddy Derek here. And Derek J. What's up, buddy? Not much. How you doing, Dio? Pretty good. How are you? Have you been contacted today by the government? <laughs> No. Uh, actually, they did come and knock for me. I got a business card from one of the local PD because they are still trying to serve me uh, some <laughs> paperwork about a uh, court that I have to attend upcoming. So, yes, I have been contacted tell them you wanna, by the government. Tell them you want a BLT, man. <laughs> yes, They're... you can serve me with fries, please. Yeah, exactly. And don't forget the Coke. Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how about you? Are you safe? Have you been contacted by the government? Yeah, I'm safe. We're okay here. Everything's cool All right, in good. Ohio, except for the you know police killed somebody else around here. So oh no, yeah, last week they killed a guy that was uh he I mean he was breaking into a store and whatnot. He was I think he was 